All right, everybody, welcome. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that. I hope you can hear me now. Um, so we had a, a technical glitch, obviously, on the first stream that we uh, uh, tried. Um, so give me a thumbs up or let me know in the chat if you can actually hear me right now. Uh, hopefully you guys can. Uh, as you can see, I have Ledger with me tonight. Hello, everybody. Oh, uh, it says still can't hear you. Is that oh. true? Oh. They still can't hear me. Oh, it says the auto is nice now. All right, you guys can hear me? Oh, just Brad says just kidding. Ah, Brad, oh. come on. <clears throat> you have no idea how stressed I've been in the last 10 minutes. So, uh, really? So I had a two-camera setup uh, to be able to show us building and blah, blah, blah. So uh, my problem is my laptop only has two USB ports, so I couldn't get the microphone to work right. And I thought I was good to go, but clearly... Not so much. So I apologize. So we're going to have a one camera set up for tonight. Hopefully by the next uh, show, uh, I can get a two camera set up and we can do it properly. So I do apologize for that. Um, but as you can see, I have the Lego Batman 89 Batmobile, which is amazing. This thing is massive and heavy. Um, it's really, really awesome. And so uh, we're going to build tonight. Uh, our first ever live build that we've ever done. And um, uh, basically, I think I've heard this this takes anywhere from like six to seven hours. So I think what we're going to do tonight is probably do like a two hour live stream. We'll just kind of see where we're at. Um, and here, let me. You want the mouse? Well, yes, I do. I'm just going to turn off the banner so people can see your face. Oh, hello, everybody. <laughs> um, but uh, basically, um, we are going to be. Um, doing a live stream for about two hours. Um, we're going to build as much as we can and just kind of go from there. But before we do that, I do want to say hello to everybody that's here um, in the chat. Uh, also, just so you guys know, I did buy the Iron Studios Batmobile. Uh, <laughs> yes, I did. Um, and so it'll be interesting to compare these two. But also at the same time, um, I am going to have a live unboxing and review next week. So stay tuned to the channel for that as well. But I do want to say hello to everybody that's here. And again, I apologize if you joined us on the other video. I apologize. Technical issues. Hopefully by the next show, uh, I'm going to get an adapter so I can get, uh, you know, multiple cameras and the mic working at the same time. So again, I apologize. Thank you for bearing. <clears throat> thank you for bearing with me. Uh, let's see. We've got the clown prince of crime Hudson in the house. Hey, hello to you. Brad, that practical joker right there. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, Sal Salman Freeman. Hello to you. Sorry, I'm having to see the screen from further back tonight. Um, I guess we could bring the laptop up a little bit closer now. Do you want me to? Yeah, scoot it a little closer. <coughs> that way we can see everybody a little bit easier. There we go. That's perfect. Uh, we got A and J's collectibles. One of our Brotherhood members. Thank you for thank you for yeah trying this again. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. Uh, let's see. We've got Chris in the house. Hello to you. Uh, wife told me no to the Lego set. All right. Oh well, maybe after this you'll uh, have her change your mind. Maybe that'll be all right. That'll be all right. Uh, let's see. We've got uh, oh hey, how's it going? Nice to see you. Uh, we have what an epic. Thing to wake up to, ha! Huh? Thanks for thanks for thanks everyone. Okay, or hey everyone, Man, I can't read tonight. Sorry, I'm all frazzled. I'm all frazzled because of my darn mic. All right, we've got Gotham's mind. Hello, uh, ready to begin my evening of entertainment? Yeah, I hope I've never done this before, so hopefully it's uh, entertaining. Uh, we've got Pop in the house. I love it. Thank you very. DC is life. Absolutely, it is. Uh, Brad says, I hope he, I hope there is less cussing than whenever I put this thing together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping we don't lose any pieces. That would be uh, that would be I, bad. Yeah, I, I don't cuss whenever I build Lego sets, but I definitely probably cuss. Uh, Nathan's in the house. What up, Bat Fam? Hello to Nathan. You know, it's funny because I find um, building Legos, like when he was a little kid, I built Legos for him all the time, and I find it very therapeutic. Um, I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. So we'll see if I uh, still agree with that uh, whenever I'm done. <laughs> uh, let's see who else. Are, well, we got Josh B. in the house. Thank you for letting me know about the audio. Thank you. Good. I'm glad the audio is nice. That's fantastic. I'm tired. Yes, it's been a long Friday. Good. Good. I'm glad the audio is good. Got Tom here in the house. 
Uh, we've got Katie Cat in the house. Hello, nice to nice that you're here. Thank you very much. Chris Logan, a thumbs up. That's great. Got Go Bruins. Good here. Good. M. Stainbrook in the house. Hello to you. Uh, let's see if we have other folks. Just trying to get caught up here. Let's see. We've got Eric. Yeah, take two. That's for sure, Eric. Thanks for the uh, the message. Chris says, uh, what's up, Chris? Lo uh, Logan here with um, with me to my son, maybe? I'm not sure if that's what you meant. <clears throat> Price is about two fifty. Ooh, for a Lego set. Two fifty for Lego set. That's more than a lot. My Lego set. <clears throat> the Batwing is um, two hundred, one ninety nine. Uh, Lego Batmobile, uh, yeah, two fifty versus the thousand. Uh, but I, I did just spend the thousand. Yikes! But it'll be worth it. Uh, you know, let's think. That's one I already did. Uh, we got Steve in the house. Okay, from where? Uh, we're coming live from the Batcave. I think he asked where you got this. Oh, I got it from Amazon. Uh, yes. Uh, hello, Dennis. Let's say, okay, thanks. Tin Man in the house. Uh, no Harley off wait list yet, almost three weeks. Ugh, sorry, Tin Man. My fingers are still crossed for you. Aaron G., hey, everyone. Bat Kid Beyond. It's 2 a.m. in Norway, but let's do this. Thank you for being up with me tonight. Again, we don't normally go live on Friday, but I uh, we got this in, and um, <clears throat> you know we're gonna have next week, and then uh, we have spring break, so we're gonna be out of town uh, for a bit. So, so it might take a while to get this thing completed. Yeah, three twenty-two in Finland. Hello to you, uh, back sucker. What up, Chris? What a pleasure. What up, chat? Hope the day is going well. Excited for the Batmobile build. Me too. Thank you very I much. Agree. Thank you, thank you. Uh, where will you display the Lego Batmobile? That's a good uh, question, Katie. I think uh, there's a good chance that uh, it might go into my office at work. I have a Lego display there for all of the kids that I work with. And um, like I've got the Lego Cinderella Castle in there and some other things, so we'll see. Um, uh, sorry, I meant we're watching with my son, Logan. He, uh, oh, that's fantastic. I'm glad. Thank you, Chris. Uh, hello to Logan. Hello. Hope you're doing well, Logan. Hello. Be good Be good to your dad. Good idea. Great idea. Huh? It's 930. Wow, West Australia. That's awesome. Thank you for being here. How far is that a week? Long ways. Uh, I think 13, 14 hours, 16 hours, something like that. Flight. Yeah. Midnight dip. Happy Friday to you. Matt Gomez, what's up, Chris and son? Hope all is well. Congratulations on the Batmobile. Thank you very much. Ooh, this is a great comment right here. Smash that like button. Thank you very Smash much. The like button. Thank you. I've already hit it. You already hit it? All right. I appreciate it like that. Four hours ago. <laughs> I appreciate that. Matt Gomez says up. Yeah, thank you very much. And uh, we've got Bat Kid Beyonce and Chris. I'm tempted to pre-order that amazing poison ivy in the background. Yes. Uh, I'm, uh, you're probably talking about the tweeter head poison ivy and it is absolutely incredible. Uh, just a really, really good piece. So again, if you're just joining us, this is what we have to build tonight. Oh, that's <clears throat> we have the uh, 1989 Lego Batmobile. And I'm going to switch camera angles here in just a second, but I'll give you an idea of the box. It looks great. And then actually what you get, you actually get the three minifigures, which I'm really excited about the Joker um, Vicky Vale, and of course the '89 Batman Lego, which I've never had, but uh, this thing is so awesome. I feel like really cool. I feel like it has the pop of like machine guns on the sides here. It kind of looks like the James Bond car. Yes, I could see that a little bit. Yeah, it definitely I, has the the weapons that pop up out of there. Because the James Bond car has it coming out of the sides. I think. The well, I, again, like the top will blow off and then there'll be weapons. Yeah. But like there's a Lego set of that as well. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Gnarly Dude says hello. Hello to you. Uh, Patrick is in the house. Amazing Lego. Just finished building it myself. Favorite Batman film by far. Um, I probably prefer Batman. Re I, actually, I know. I prefer Batman Returns over this one. But of course, it's the same Batmobile. So it's, you know, just awesome. Just awesome. That's uh, epic. Yes, it is. Thank you. Uh, there you go. Thank you. Let's see. Um, I can see why people want this so much considering the Nolan trilogy is my favorite live action. Yeah, they have a Lego tumbler. I think it's really expensive. It's an older piece. Um, it'd be really cool to get that piece too. 
Uh, Lucas says, uh, good evening, uh, fellow Bat fans. So welcome uh, to you, Lucas. Uh, and again, if you're just joining us, uh, I do apologize if you saw the other stream. I did have some uh, audio issues. Um, so <laughs> I had two cameras set up for you guys. So by the time we do the second one of these, part two, uh, I will have this set up properly for you guys, I promise. Um, but uh, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to uh, change the camera angle so you guys can actually see the table. Uh, you won't be able to see us uh, for the time being. We might switch it kind of back and forth. Um, but I really want to get to the build so you guys, because that's why you're here, right? You're you're here to see the build. Uh, Richard, uh, hi, Chris and Le uh, Ledger, checking in from Hawaii, excited uh, to see the Lego build. Uh, me too. Uh, thank you very much, Richard. Hope everything's going well in Hawaii. Um, I was supposed to visit Hawaii. We were supposed to go on a family vacation in 2020, and uh, I would have loved to uh, met you and hung out there maybe uh, sometime down the road, I hope. Yes, you can go grab a water real quick. It's going to be difficult to survive a two-hour stream. No got to have the water. Got to stay hydrated. hydrated. I got mine right here. H2O right there. Right back. Let's see. Brad says the, uh, again, Brad, Brotherhood of the Bat member. Thank you, Brad. Uh, <clears throat> the Lego Tumblr is a little bit more fragile than the 89. Okay, that's good to know. Good to know. Uh, Batman Returns is amazing. Oh, Michelle Pfeiffer. She's the perfect Catwoman. She was fantastic. Uh, the bill was more fun than the Joker castle. That's cool. That's awesome. I'm glad to know that. I'm back. Sucka says, I stopped by my local shop today, and they had the uh, Sideshow Batman Beyond PF. That's cool. Um, yeah, we've actually um, we had a guest review on the channel, uh, if you want to check it out. Uh, we did it... Uh, Maybe six months ago or so, give or take. Not exactly sure. Uh, what's your favorite Batman movie? My favorite Batman movie is uh, Batman Returns. I love it. Uh, followed up by The Dark Knight, then probably 89 Batman, probably. Uh, I just got an email. Joker bus got pushed back to April, May. Uh, I did talk to Sideshow today, and I think that, that they might be expecting it sooner than that. So uh, maybe more like April, maybe a couple weeks. So um, so I think that's good. Oh, yeah, she was. I'm assuming you're talking to Michelle Pfeiffer. Yeah, absolutely. I'm back. All right, you're back. All right, so I'm going to switch up the camera angle here a little bit for you guys. I'm going to move my chair back. At least I'm going to try here, get it back the way I had it. I'm going to move my chair back a little bit. So again, I do apologize greatly. Well, I... All right, let's see if that's good or not. I might need to move the table a little bit, but uh, let's show you what I got here. So let's see. I'm actually going to move that just a little bit. Just a little bit more of an angle there. See if we can get a little bit more of the table again. Sorry, guys. I had all this set up, but technology happens. Let's see if that's any better. Hard to say if it is. Let's see. Nope, still. Thanks for being patient with me, guys. That might be a little bit better angle for you guys. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so there it is, right there. Sorry about the glare. But let's uh, check out what's inside here, okay? Ooh, got some tires. That's pretty cool. Start to see why it takes so long. This keeps going, huh, Ledge? Yeah, we should probably move some of these bags off the table. We will. We will. We have this big giant box here. What is that? I'm 
assuming the instructions. Let's see what's in here. Instructions are that big. I don't know. We're gonna find out. This is a uh, by far the biggest. Well, it's not the biggest Lego set I've done. I've done a Lego castle, but uh, how long did that take you? Uh, that took seven hours. <laughs> Yeah, that took seven hours. So we got that cut open there. And let's see what we get in here. All right, so more pieces. I'm guessing that all of these are later. Yeah, these are all, I think, later pieces. All right, so this box must be more of like the newer, or the, the first one. There's six, four. So I'll kind of keep that close by. Seven, ten, two. That's a good sign. Got two and three right there. And let's see, that one doesn't even have a number. Six. <laughs> Look at that. It's like a Bible. Look at that. It's crazy. I'm going to take these ones off the ones that are lower numbers. No. Oh, yeah. You can do that. Just don't open them yet. Yeah. Yeah. Four. All right. There's no more. I haven't got them all out yet. There's still more. All right, they've got some stickers. Don't want to lose those. Like Brad said, we don't want to lose any pieces, but look at that. That is crazy. It's a giant book. That's really cool. Oh, that's very, that's very of my book. That's really neat. It's even got some pictures of Gotham in there. That's really that's cool. Awesome. That's awesome. All right, so your job is to control the comments ledge. So if anybody uh, has any interesting comments, you can put them up on the screen. Should I ask, like, should I just look for questions? Uh, well, if, if you see people commenting and you think it's an interesting comment, you can put it up on the screen, and uh, we can uh, read them. We want to make sure that we're uh, interacting with you guys tonight. Yep. All right, so that one is the no number. Okay. That's right. three and five. All right, okay, so take five down there, put that down there. I've got two and three right here. And bag number one. All right. Ha <laughs> ha, look at that. We've got a Batman. That's so cool. It's, uh, it's like plasticky rubbery. That's funny. That's really cool. So we can build Batman right off the bat, which is awesome. No pun intended, well, pun intended, I guess, right? All right, so you can throw a look through that over there. And yeah, this is just crazy. I'll move the mic a little bit, so maybe we'll get that out of, out of the way for you guys. But I think we can build a Batman right off the bat, which is little awesome. Little Batman. That's right. Let's open up little this Batman. little thing. <laughs> little Batman. Do, 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 do. All the little tiny pieces. I can already see his head. All right. I'll, I'm going to have you be the... Trash dude. Oh, that, that kind of hurts. That hurts your feelings. Yeah, I figured it would. A little bag of black parts there. It'll be hard to see. So I think we can go ahead and uh, we'll put. <clears throat> That's awesome. It's a great movie. It's very funny. Uh, oh, I got to put the head sculpt on. So here, oh, it's got a battery. Oh, there we go. First piece dropped. Caught it. I'm an old school veteran at the uh, catching of the Lego pieces. Big it will... says, what's your next statue? <clears throat> uh, my next statue that I have coming in is the Iron Studios Batman 89 piece. Uh, I'm getting that in on Monday. I'm not sure. We probably will do a live stream that night. Um, maybe I'll help you. Maybe you'll help me. So <laughs> there you go, guys. There, <laughs> goes so cool. There's a little Lego Batman right there. Can I see it? Yep. Oh, wait, I found this. Oh, no. No, never had that one. This is, I think, only available in this set, I think. This is really, really cool. I like how they keep in there. <coughs> only are like one piece. One piece 
Uh, it's got like a, some um, behind the scenes stuff in there. This will be cool to, to read later. I cannot believe the size of this book. So big. Oh, it even goes through and um, talks about like, um, you know, how this was created. They use like clay models. Hey. That's really neat. The audio, the table is and sounds pretty loud. Do you have an auxiliary table to place the mic off the building table? Uh, we could probably put I it can, on something else. I could bring down like a, like a, like a Let's see. Let me just improvise here. Improvisation. Let's see here. All right. Uh, let me know if that's any better. I just uh, moved the mic. I just moved the mic slightly off table here onto a onto the actual box. So, <clears throat> all right. We'll see if that uh, makes it better or not. I'll make it better. All right. Well, let's get to step number one. Right you got it. And let's see. Okay. Oh, it even shows like what it, what it's supposed to look like with each step. So that's really neat. And we've got a lot of steps, folks. A lot of steps. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get started here. We'll get started. So hour number one. Here we go. <laughs> let's see. And Ledger will be right back and he'll... Uh, I'm already here. No, you're already here. All right. Well, we're building right away here. And I was gonna bring one of these lunch side tables. Again, this is my first time ever doing something like this, so uh, bear with me. Hopefully, we'll be good to go. All right, you want to move that over here instead? Yep. All right. Trying to work a little bit better. All right, we'll try that and uh, see if that uh, makes a difference in the audio quality here. Oh yeah, you did say yes, it's better. So that's good. Thank you very much. Glad to hear it sounds better. 24 hour stream. 24 hour stream? Is that <laughs> Katie? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we could probably go 24 hours here for sure. Uh, I don't know how well that'll go over with the family, but we'll see. I'm going to do 24 hour stream. <laughs> All right. Let's see. So we've got this one here. And join this together. This is what we're going to do, guys. Yeah. Up into All right, so your job is going to be to read these out loud, okay? Yep. <clears throat> so read them to me if there's anybody, like I see Bat Kid Beyond is saying something right there. So, uh, Dad, any comments on the Joker tweeter head? <clears throat> uh, I've seen renders of the Joker from tweeter head, and I think everybody is going to be incredibly impressed. Uh, I'm very, very excited to see more myself. Um, Tweeterhead has been doing incredible, incredible work, and uh, I am very, very, very um, optimistic that everybody's going to absolutely love it. I really do think so. I think so. All right. Let's see. You got to keep talking, Ledge. Yeah, the silence is killing me. You got to keep talking. Uh, Red, Red Lanners. Ladner, how don't we still conscious about it being the first time just watching it for a few minutes? Feels like you've been doing this for days. No, oh, <laughs> that's a burn right there. I think I that's a burn. That. We'll see. All right, there you go. Are you planning to host a sideshow con this year? Um, sideshow con. <clears throat> um, we did live reactions, and I, I think it actually lines up uh, with a family vacation which I was not expecting. So um, it'll, it'll be possible. I'm just not sure yet. Uh, I'm back. I'm back. Sucka says, is there a new Joker coming out from Twitter head? Yes. Uh, they actually announced it today in their newsletter. Um, like I said, I've known for some time uh, that it's coming, but um, you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to love it. Okay, uh, in the UK, where's the best prime one statues, one fourth or one third? In the so. UK, where's the best place? Uh, that I don't know. Um, so probably somebody's going to have to do it probably 
Um, if, if you're in the chat, um, you might just check Prime 1 to see um, uh, what their prices are. It might be the most affordable, or you might have local places like local comic book shops. I'm not sure. So there's the, there's the first section done <clears throat> right there. Hey, guys. I'm bringing you a treat. Oh, I've got to see. Oh, Dan, Dan from from Wayne Manor North. We got a $4.99 uh, for the new Batmobile wall. That's right. Oh, you did not have to do that. But uh, thank you very much for the super chat, my friend. That's awesome. You did not. Have, you did not have to do that. That's so nice. Uh, that is so nice. Thank you very, very much. Uh, <clears throat> thank you, thank you, Dan. Thank you. <clears throat> Offset the cost of that uh, that damn uh, Iron Studios Batmobile that I just bought. Uh, Dad, you should do an that 89, was expensive. You should do an 89 display with old toys, Legos, and statues. Well, that could be pretty cool. <clears throat> if we can convince your mom to let me have more space in the house. What do you think? You think I that's uh, you think that's going to happen? I don't know. We've already talked about this. We have already. And, you know, I we already know the answer, right? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen the new Tweeterhead Batman? Uh, new Tweeterhead Batman? That I'm not sure. I don't think I've seen a Batman. I'm sure they're going to do one, but I don't think I've seen one. As far as I know. Everyone, do this. Hit that like button. Thank you very, very much. Uh, you guys, it just means the world to me that you're doing that. Uh, Dad, I ordered my first Crime 1 statue. What's your opinion on the company? And it's a Dark Knight Returns, and I know it's not your favorite story. Uh, my opinion on Prime One is they are absolutely fantastic. Um, I absolutely love Prime One and what they do. Um, I have, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. I've got eighteen Prime One statues. Which I'm gonna say is about half of this collection. So that says a lot. Uh, I have eighteen Prime One statues, and uh, I just I love them. Um, they're fantastic. Uh, Bat Kid Beyond says, uh, I want to send you something. What address do I send it to? Um, if you want to send something to me, our address is 545 East North Street, and that's in Salina, Kansas, 67401. So 545 East North Street, Salina, Kansas, 67401. Again, never feel like you have to, but I, we always appreciate getting fan mail, so thank you very much. I uh, love to show it off on the channel as well if we can. Dan, if you're still watching, thank you again. Thank you very much. That was that was awesome to do that super chat. Thank you. What are your thoughts on the Arkham Origins line from Prime One? Arkham Origins line from Prime One. I have uh, many pieces. Um, they're not my favorite designs uh, compared to the Arkham City or Arkham Knight. Um, I just I tend to like those better overall. Um, but again, that's just me. Um, but I have Killer Croc. I have got Deathstroke and Mister Freeze uh, and Bane, all from that all from that series. All right, let's Hello. see what our next steps are here. We got okay, building right along. All right, what's people saying, Ledge? You're doing an awesome job, Chris and Ledger. Oh, thank you. So thank you very much. Yes. I really I really did not know uh, quite what to expect, uh, whether, you know, we would do a good job with this or not. So I appreciate everybody bearing in with me. Uh, <clears throat> and again, this is uh, part one. So we're going to break it down into some sessions because I'm sure most of you probably do not want to watch for – Eight hours, eight hours, you know. Maybe, maybe you do. Maybe there's some of you that would do that. We'll kind of see how it goes. Hey, Dad, how do I ban someone from the stream? Ban somebody from the stream? Uh, th this guy was spamming hello from the stream in the stream for the past couple of times. This one? Yeah, like, uh, the push on that guy. All right, well, we'll just do that. He was spamming. All right, him. so that spammer's gone. Sorry, I, I got a request to do that. But we got to make sure they're spammers and not just well, <coughs> trying to be funny. So they probably deleted all their other comments. Yeah, you're spamming hello. I said hello already. All right. Uh, did you see the animated series Doc on DC's channel? If you did not, check it out. I have not seen that yet. Um, that's definitely on my list. 
for sure. Uh, what are the web pages you use to grow the most statues? Um, I use, uh, I buy mostly everything from sideshowcollectibles.com. Um, I also order from prime1studios.com. Did you happen to get a Heath Ledger impression from Halo? Uh, did you, do you like my, did you like my Heath Ledger impression? I, I can't remember if I saw it. I think I did. And I think it was great. Let's see. All right. I think I got that piece. So this is looking kind of like this. It's uh, pretty crazy right there. All right. Now we're going to get this guy right here. And we need. And Zandor says here. he'll be back. All right. I, I saw him in the chat. Thanks for, eat. thanks for coming back. Absolutely. All right, that goes out here. OG Harley or HOW in your display? What? Uh, OG Harley or HOW? Hell on wheels, Harley on your display. Oh, I don't know. I've got both in there still. I'm still deciding. Still deciding. Well, that doesn't seem right. Uh oh. You missed something? Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe I just didn't push it hard enough in. There we go. Yeah. Just needed to try it. Let's see. We've got another one of these and four of those. Sorry, the chat's not updating. It's okay. Sometimes there's a delay. A little silence will be okay. Yep. I'll try to speak. <laughs> Batman's cool. I have no clue. Dang, we knew two the, of those. We knew the 1989 Batmobile. He goes zero to 60 in 3.7 seconds. It's pretty awesome. I always say if I could have like one movie prop, I think that would be it. I would really love, I would love to have the Batmobile. That'd be pretty amazing. Uh, be a dream come true. I saw somebody in the Facebook group the other day, or maybe yesterday said that there was somebody that converted a, um, a Ford, maybe a Ford Mustang or something to a Batmobile. Like how cool is that? People are saying the classic Harley looks better on display. Yeah, a lot of people like her because she's more in movement, and it's like she's going to hit uh, Batman with the mallet. So I can definitely see that. Um, that's probably who will end up in the cave, in the uh, case. What's OUPS with the new Superman? Is there a new Superman? Let's see. What? Is there a new Superman lately? Oops. Oops with the new... I don't know what that means. The Oops. Guy, uh, Superman. The new Superman's cool. Uh, are you talking about the one from Tweeterhead? I have no clue. It just said... What the new Superman? Oh! Kitty Cat picked up the 89 battery from Walmart. You know, I am so mad, uh, Katie. Um, if you can find one, if they have another one at your Walmart, would you pick one up for me? Our Walmart does not have them. It says that there's six in stock. But I mean, it it literally <laughs> there's no well, there's not one there. It just drives me nuts. I really want one. So if you if you find one, I'll pay for shipping. I'll pay for I'll pay for all of it. I'm sorry. That's what I meant to say. I'll pay for that and shipping. All right. So we're getting a, kind of a base here. It looks like a foundation for this thing. It's a little bit of a kitty cat says yes, she will. Oh, you are awesome. Thank you very much. That is awesome. Uh, off subject, did you read the Berserk? I don't know. How to say that. Berserk, Berserk run? No, I have not. Um, I, you know, I look at somebody like Jim Mint who reads all these books and talks about all these books. Like, I, I don't know where people like that find the time. Like, I am so busy doing channel stuff and doing my family stuff and doing my work stuff. I just don't know how people have time to read anything. <clears throat> Brad got the battery. Oh, Brad got one. That's fantastic. Man, I tell you, I did see that they were going up for pre-order, but it, I don't I don't think they come out till like August, though, Brad. Josh B's uh, 89 batarangs stuck in the mail. Um, yeah, I don't I just don't know why. And you can only buy the batarangs in person. Like you can't buy them online, which I don't really understand. 
They're made by NECA. They're not being sold on Amazon, which I don't understand. It's just kind of weird. All right, I put too many pieces in. See, I'm trying to do too many things at once. I'm trying to concentrate. I got the concentrate. You speak whenever I, I need you to speak. Well, I know. It's just I'm trying to <laughs> respond to you, and I want to, uh, you know, be as interactive with everybody as I can. It's on Big Bad Toy Store. Yeah, yeah Big Bad Toy Store. But again, I've heard that it doesn't uh, ship till August. Ooh. So if you can find one at Walmart, for Pete's sakes, get it at Walmart. But if you can't, it's it's not easy. It's very difficult to do that. So... Whatever. If you can get it, find it. I know it's plastic, so it might not be. But, I mean, I think if I can get one, and again, Katie, thank you very much. Um, just display with my Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman that I'm getting from Tweeterhead. And then my Iron Studios uh, Batmobile that I'm getting next week. I just think that would be oh, awesome. Oh, Brad donated $14 for Batman. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Brad, you are amazing. <laughs> Another super chat. Thank you very, very Man, Brad. That, Man, thank you very much. That is so awesome. Thank you very much. Uh, so th thank you. That is just above and beyond, guys. Thank you very much. Brad and Dan, thank you for the super chats. Um, that just really goes a long way on the channel. So thank you very, very much. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. Roger Sim says, love the channel. Keep up the great content. Are the wives are kids? Are the wife and kids into collecting they enjoy? Well, you tell me. Are you I, into I collecting? Do. I do, for sure. <clears throat> Your uh, interest kind of comes and goes, Yeah, I would say. Um, Depends on what it is. He's enjoyed, I would say you've enjoyed doing this with me. Yeah. yeah. Um, and, you know, kind of learning a little bit more about collecting. So um, my wife, she uh, collects um, some Disney purses. <clears throat> That's what she's kind of into right now, some Disney ears. Uh, we're big Disney fans. Um, again, if you um, are interested in our Disney adventures. We have another YouTube channel. It's uh, Midwest Mouseketeers. I'm on there. Uh, I'm just, yeah, your ledger's on there. Um, and uh, we do Disney vlogs, Disney uh, trip reports and stuff like that. So if you're interested in things like that, um, definitely check it out. Um, trying to grow that channel a little bit. I mean, we don't have enough time to put into it like we do this one, but <clears throat> um Appreciate that. Again, Brad, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. That was so awesome for the super chat. Every every little bit helps, that's for sure. Crime Prince of, uh, Clown Prince of Crime says he wants to collect the Arkham Gadgets Nightwing Escrum Sticks, Asylum Battering, Night Battering, and Black Mass Set. That's awesome. I think uh, I think they're doing those on... Um, aren't, isn't NECA making those also? Who said that? Clown Prince of Crime? Yeah. Hudson. Oh, it's Hudson. Um, yeah, I think that they're making those too, and I think they're really cool. <clears throat> Are you excited for the Snyder Cut? I am excited. Uh, it's it's while we're on spring break. Uh, we're going to Texas. Um, My dad's like, I've got to watch So, this. yeah, we're going to be streaming that uh, for sure. I'm very excited about it. Probably more old stuff. We'll see. We shall see. So, again, it's just this thing's getting longer and longer here. All right, let's see. The actual thing is supposed to be like 21.9 feet. Uh, 21 the, feet, point nine. The, the actual bat Batmobile? Yeah. That is awesome. With 7, point, 7 feet, 10 inches. Uh, max speed unknown. That is awesome. Octane, 97% okay. Oh, I had the wrong... Wrong one here. Hey, I want to thank the 74 people watching right now. Thank you so much. If you're enjoying this at all uh, or get value from it, uh, please uh, hit that like button. That helps all us right. out a lot. Uh, Nathan asks, where are you going in Texas? <clears throat> uh, we go down to the beach, uh, all the way down, um, usually in the, like the Port Aransas area. Um, and sometimes like San Antonio and some areas like that. Um, we're going to meet some family down there, so... Uh, we go there every once in a while. Actually, we went there last year, too, and I uh, really enjoyed it. What's your favorite DC character? Uh, my favorite DC, DC Yeah, that's easy. Who is it? Joker. It's the Joker, of course. I know you. <laughs> How could it not be the Joker? I mean, come on. 
it's just the Joker is the best villain and character of all time. What don't you think, my man? Come on, yeah. yeah. Of course it's the Joker. Yeah. Um, How about you? Who's your favorite, Ledge? My favorite? Oh. Yeah, it's like I asked you the hardest question in the world. Yeah, it is the hardest question in the world. Ledger, <clears throat> Ledger goes, oh. Uh, Who could it be now? Oh, I'll probably get copyrighted on that. Yeah, no, don't do that. Yep, we don't want to do that. Mine's probably Deathstroke. Deathstroke? Or I was not expecting Deadshot. Like know. Will Smith's Deadshot? I don't. I can't tell the difference between the two characters. This is definitely like the bottom of the Batmobile, I think. Yeah. <clears throat> that we're constructing. Uh, yes, it is. It's a little bit of. It's everything. What? Uh, our second channel. <clears throat> yeah, the second channel is basically just our, we film our trips. Uh, we film our trips to to Disney. Uh, we just became DVC members. Um which we're really excited about. And uh, we go once or twice a year usually. And so we just film our vacations. Um, and so we started a channel. Uh, we're the Midwest Mouseketeers. Uh, again, uh, if you're interested, please give us a sub over there. Uh, and if not, cool beans. I really think we <coughs> share more subscribers. Pure and entertaining channel with more, with call it, Quality content. Well, I would love to have more subscribers. It's always nice to build this community. Um, the fact that we're at 20K is just, it just blows my mind. Uh, we're getting closer to 21. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just, it's just incredible um, the way we've been able to build this community together. Just awesome. So, yeah, I hope we, I hope we continue to grow. What is a collector's worst enemy? Uh, space? Dust, budget, eBay, or all the above? All of the above. <laughs> okay. All of the above, without Death a doubt. Deathstroke is such a cool character. Deathstroke is a cool character. Oh, we're a little behind. Um, you know, it's funny. Um, I, I think <clears throat> Dust is definitely a, an evil enemy, but I think to me it's probably Space. Uh, space is, is the most evil. What's your favorite movie of all time? Any movie. <sighs> Batman, it could be anything. Probably the Back to the Future trilogy. Um, I, I love those movies. Um, I, you know, Batman is always going to be near and dear to my heart, but I just there's something about those that trilogy that I just absolutely love. Absolutely uh, love. Did you see the new interpretation of Scarecrow? Uh, I did. Uh, kind of real different, right? Uh, with that kind of that really crazy mask. Um, but I, I, you know, I'm I'm always excited to see. Kind of where they take these characters, so I'm all for it. Uh oh. You grab that. Yep, please. What was that? Oh. This is right here. You see it? Yeah. First, first drop of the day. <laughs> you like it anywhere it is. Yeah. Well, whenever you have a piece like this, you know it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty pretty easy to find. Uh oh, I just realized how packed we're gonna be. Thank God. Yeah. Uh, Red Hood is your favorite. Robert Pattinson, the right man for the cow? Question mark. Uh, I think <laughs> there's a lot of rumors going around. Of course, everybody right now feels like they're into rumors and conspiracy theories. Uh, we don't know what really happens, uh, guys. And so I am. I think he's a great actor, and I'm very excited. Um, I really, really um, love the idea of it being a noir-type film, a detective story, a real dark and gritty um, so I am very excited. I hope there are no truths to the rumors, and I hope there's not really production problems. Um, but I guess we're going to find out. Time will tell, right? Time will tell. But I am excited about uh, the Robert Pattinson movie. Um, hey, it's a new freaking Batman movie. I mean, what's not to like, right? I've supported you since the very beginning. It brings a warm feeling to my heart to see how far you've come. I, s I wish you all the best in the future, and I hope you and your family stay safe and happy. Daniel, that means this is so incredibly much to me. Thank you very much. We've been doing this for over four years. And, again, just absolutely incredible. I can't remember whenever I really started to get into this kind of stuff. Get into what stuff? Like Batman and I can't remember. Like six months ago. Well, no, because <laughs> I, I did a video with you like three or four years ago. Well, you did a Funko Pop video for us. Yeah, I did. Yep, you did. You and Caden. No lock. And that was awesome. Lock. You did one with Keaton and one. I never aired the. Never I, I never aired the lock one because. Yeah, you never aired the 
Caden one. I did actually. It's on there. Um, but I didn't do the I didn't do the lock one because um, he was too young. I didn't want people to really know him. You know what I mean? But now that he's getting older, he'll eventually be on the channel too. I'm sure. Brad says I feel the worst enemy of a collector is obsession when collectors forget it's just a hobby. Yes. Um, like, like Brad, I mean, you have a, you have an incredibly giant collection. So how do you view your collection? Do you view it as like this incredible Guinness book world record, or do you view it as, Oh my God, I've got a problem. I've got too much stuff. Uh, like how do you view your collection? Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. Um, cause, cause it, it can become an obsession, uh, where you just feel like you need to get everything. Uh, who are the villains for the new Batman? Uh, the new ba Batman movie um, is going to be uh, the Penguin and Catwoman's in it, but she's a good guy, I think. And um, then also um, Riddler. How do you know this stuff? Because I know my stuff. I'm the Batman freaking statue collector, kid. <laughs> You're not messing with just some Joe Schmo on the street. You're not the Batman movie director, though. Well, I'm not the Batman movie director. That is true, I but <clears throat> but I do pay attention to Batman related content. So I know my stuff. There's rumors about the Mad Hatter also being in this film. That'd be cool. Hmm. I'd like to see a ventriloquist. He said uh, Riddler, Penguin, and Catwoman so far. The rumors about the Mad Hatter. <sighs> Did too many again. <sighs> Bathroom? Yeah. There's no bathroom breaks in this show. We're going Listen. we're we're going 18 hours with no bathroom breaks. That's Here, just possible. just pee into this. Oh <laughs> no. no, I'm just That's kidding. After you drink out of them. I'm Why just I'm just kidding. All right, I'll read this one. <coughs> I'll let you have the All right, are you gonna read it? No, I well, let's see. Let's see. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've learned a lot uh, from just collecting one line and don't buy everything. Yeah, that's that's. Having a focus is really important. Uh, it's just the stuff I want to love. Uh, there was a time that I had the most and didn't know it and found out when someone else got the record. Um, yeah. So, I mean, and that's that really is uh, bottom line. You collect what you love. Um, collect what you love. And, yeah, Katie. See, Katie gets it. No bathroom breaks. Yeah. See, she knows. She knows. See, if Katie was here right now, she wouldn't be taking a bathroom break. She'd be toughing it out with me. All right, let's see. Put some more pieces on. This is getting pretty cool. I hear you, correct? Yeah, Katie's giving you a hard time, kid. She doesn't know what it's like. Does she doesn't know what it's like. Has she ever been on a live stream before? I don't know. Katie, have you ever been on a live stream before? Ledger wants to know. I bet she has. No she's awesome. She's awesome. <laughs> no I know. I know. Face. That's what I know. Oh, she, I, see, I didn't read that right. Bat room. I didn't see it. <clears throat> I didn't, didn't even catch that. That's that's too funny. You gotta put a bathroom in here. A bathroom in the bat cave. Yeah. Man, you guys would never see me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. No more bathroom humor. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Put this piece on. Look at look how look how long this thing is getting. Like it's just crazy. How big that is. Uh, Mr. X was here. Uh, we would say that's what she said. <coughs> that's, 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 his, a, that's, his, that's his favorite thing to say. Katie says, I've been on Zoom calls. No streams, Katie? No streams? Oh, Have you been I, on two-hour streams? I think you're getting called out by the kid, Katie. Yep, getting called out by the kid. Oh, my God. She's been hit by a smooth criminal. I got the 1989 skin for the Arkham Knight. Eh? What? Uh, must be on. Uh, oh, the Arkham Knight. You get you get a skin. You get a skin. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. Hmm. This doesn't seem right. All right. Dad, can you remind us a bit on the Prime One Batman Advanced Suit, the one with the Buster? What does that mean? I think it's great, uh, Bat Kid. Uh, I I think that it um, is really really well done, and I think that it's going to be 
Uh, I think it's going to be perfectly in scale with other quarter scale pieces. <clears throat> a lot of people really like that piece better than the Buster itself. And so um, I really think that you're going to be just fine getting that if you're interested. All right. Uh, Lucas says in, in early interviews, Reeves said they wanted to include Two-Face, Mad Hatter, and Firefly. Zero yes, you need to respond to that. Sorry, I got to count. Uh, I don't know what to speak about this. I think I might have the wrong piece. Have you seen the YouTube video on William Defoe playing as the Joker and speaking really creepy? Yes, I, I really want him as the Joker. I would really like that. Okay, here's what I messed up on, I think. Sir Double Chess. Sir Double Chess. Sir Double Chess. <laughs> He's a Brotherhood of the Bat member. You, you can't do his name wrong. It's I don't know. Sir Double de Chess. You mispronounced it. Sir Double Chess. Pretty close. <laughs> Not so much. Uh, All right, I'm at a conundrum here. Why isn't this? You want me to help you? Well, just something doesn't seem to be. We need to call Papa. Lining up quite right. We need to call Papa. He would know what to do. <laughs> he said, "Lol sounds so fancy." <laughs> what? He says, "Lol, lol sounds so fancy." Lol sounds so fancy. Do you know what lol means? LOL. What does that mean? Laugh out loud. Okay. Hmm. There's people who don't know that as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, eight. I like this idea. If you want a fun idea for a channel, you and me. Should put buy a set of the nineteen eighty nine tops cards and shuffle them and try to put them in order without looking on the numbers in the back. What do you mean put it put them in order? What does that mean? I have no clue. Brad, what does that mean, man? So this I'm missing something here. There's supposed to be a piece that's fifteen holes long, and these are all eleven holes. I don't think we're into bag two yet. We haven't finished. This is in bag two, Dad. These are the <coughs> extra ones. What? Is that the ones? You need 15, correct? The 14. gray ones are ah. 15. So, if you're ever building this, there's another bag without any number on it. It just has some random big stuff. That's... Like that's why I couldn't figure it out because I'm, like, I'm missing pieces. But here we're here they are right here. So that makes way more sense. Okay. I thought I was losing my mind. There are pictures in every scene of the movie. So I, you know the movie. You should get them in order without looking and how they're numbered. So if he said we should buy like a. 1989 tops cards and shuffle them and try to put them back in order without looking at the numbers in the back. So there are pictures of every scene of the movie. So you know the movie. I have no idea what you're talking about right now. Brad gave us an idea for the channel. He said, if you want a fun idea for your channel, you and me should buy a set of the 1988 top 1989. Tops, Tops cards. cards from Batman 89 and shuffle them to put them in order without looking at the number on the deck. Are they are, are they like se sequential of movie scenes? I could you do I could ask them to explain. I could do they that. They said there are pictures of every scene in the movie. So you know the movie. Yes. So you should get them in order without looking how they are numbered. All right. I think I could do that. That could be kind of fun. I mean, I think that would be a good collective item. I think that could be fun. I mean, it's 1989, too. All right, Brad, are they... Um, very easy to find, or are they not the not so easy? <clears throat> Jeff Morris. Hey Jeff, Whoa. thanks for being here, my friend. 
<clears throat> another awesome person and Brotherhood of the Bat member. Thank you very much. You said that looks too It's It is a little complicated, uh, but that's what makes this fun. It wouldn't be any fun if it was just that e too easy, you know. Yeah, he said, uh, yeah, 15 to 20 for a set. Pretty common. Set. 15. Says 15 to $20 for a set. Pretty common. All right. Guess we got to get one of those. It's good to know. That's not too bad. I could buy it on uh, eBay. Not too bad. I'm debating on whether to buy the. I'm debating on whether to buy the Prime One Arkham Knight Joker or the Prime One Arkham Mister Freeze. If you had to pick one, same price. Which one would you recommend? All right, I'm trying to concentrate on this, so you're gonna say that again. I'm deciding whether to buy the Prime One Arkham Knight Joker or Prime One Arkham Mister Freeze. If you had to pick one, same price. Which one would you recommend? <clears throat> I would get the Joker. Um, because I'm just a Joker fan. The Mr. Freeze one is really cool. Um, it's massive, though. It's massive, though. Um, it does take up a lot of room, um, but it. it's still awesome. But I just, it's the, the Arkham Knight Joker I love because it's um, different, and it's also, uh, of course, um, uh, it's uh, Mark Hamill. Jeff Morris asked, uh, can you... Pay extra and get a pre <laughs> This this Batmobile, I'm sure you probably could. No, Jeff, you have to pay the money, and well, that depends. Because if you had it shipped, <laughs> if you had like someone near you that you know is pretty good at building, I bet you'd pay. You could pay them and have them build it. I don't know. All right, so this one must be the wrong one again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. This is these are eleven. So do we have another bag of unmarked? Because these are not right either. We do. Let me check this. How many do you need? I need, a, I need a, uh, a gray. Gray? Or black, actually. I think it's black. Do we have are they black ones in there? How many did you need? Thirteen? Like, yeah, that's it. I, it makes me mad that they aren't they don't say this. That they don't say, okay, this is what you need here. It's kind of frustrating because they're not actually in the bag one. Collector collector problems, right? <laughs> Here, I'll bring now this that up. will fit. There, see? I'll bring this stuff out. That right will there. fit. All right. Where's the other black? Oh, there's a lot of those. Yeah. A lot of black ones. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> well, if you're going to have the Batmobile, you're probably going to have a lot of black Lego pieces, right? Yeah, probably. Especially for the outside, so that must be the outside. Yes, I think that you are getting correct. All right, so that's where we're at, folks. Right there. <clears throat> Pretty good size. So we've hit an hour. Uh, yeah, we've hit about we've hit an hour. Good lord, I don't know if we're very, if we're very far. We're not even through bag one yet. <clears throat> really? Yeah. But they. Also... But some of these bags are smaller than others. Like and we're doing a lot of talking. That's true. That's true. That's true. So see if you can answer some of these questions for a while. See if I don't know. The chat's not loading. So are, are we on chat freeze? Might be. Oh, there we go. We got a new member. <clears throat> AJ's collectible. He was a member before, though. Um, he, he must have just remembered. Maybe he remembered. Yay! Thanks. If you remembered AJ, a a let me know. Let me know what, what you remembered to. Can't wait for the season finale this Christmas. Says Brad. Season, season finale, finale of what? what? Oh. Batman who laughs. I don't know. Batman movie set in the dark multiverse featuring the Batman who laughs in the R rating. If they announce a live action Batman movie. That'd be pretty crazy. Uh, I don't know about that, man. Looking at this. Batman who laughs over here. Pretty awesome though, right? Yeah. Right, I think that's going to be building the wheelbase there. All right. Now we're going to build some of these. The tire is massive. It's like yeah, they're, they're big. There are big tires. I'm anxious to see whether this ends up being bigger or about the same size as the Iron Studios one that I'm getting. I can make a sandwich, Dad. 
I guess you did. Yes, you did. Let's see. Let's sign you this. And a couple of these pieces here. Hey, AJ, tell me uh, what you upgraded to. Want another chat freeze? Oh, no. Yeah, I don't know why it does that. Oh, there we go. Bat, that's where crazy. Oh, man. Thank you very much. Um, that If you guys don't know what that is, uh, that is our. Um, Bat box tier, <clears throat> where if you are a member for three months um, consistently, uh, you get uh, a bat box, um, one time bat box. And so I'm really excited to uh, be sending those out. Um, just awesome. Thank you very much for upgrading. That's awesome. Thank you. Jack Moore says, I love an R rated Batman who laughs movie. <clears throat> it would be something, that's for sure. It would be pretty incredible. The last four comments have been members. It's awesome. <laughs> Appreciate that very much. That confuses me. <laughs> Being a member confuses you? Oh, there we go. Batman 2022 should be R-rated. Okay. <gasps> oh, question of the century. Ready, Dad? Yep. Would Batman have an Apple or an Android phone? I think he'd have an Android. He'd have a Nokia. A Nokia, yeah. <laughs> That's possible. Only because he does so much fighting. If that thing gets shot, that thing might survive. It's possible. Those things fall out of helicopters from hundreds of hundreds of feet and still survive. No cases or anything. True story. Oh, yeah. I probably would have a Wayne Tech now that I think about it. Dad, look. Probably would have its own Wayne Tech. Yeah, I probably would, actually. He's probably not wrong. We have a bat phone dub made by Tesla. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, the Tesla bank phones? I need to, probably not. Don't give Tesla any ideas, guys. Yeah. It's like Google making a phone. <laughs> there you go. All right, morphed, turning the page. Let's see how many this is. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. These are the thirteens, right? Yep. <coughs> okay, two of those. I'm sure that four of those. See, I am helping. You are helping big time. I couldn't do the chat and you at the same or, and this at the same time. Yeah, that'd be very very difficult. Now that I think about it, it would be. This is how I'm spending my night, you guys. So. What else do you got better to do? Actually, nothing. Actually, nothing. So Except for is. sleep. I've been tired lately. Sleep's good. You know I've been sleeping in past my alarm. Yeah, sleep is good. Do I have, do me and dad have Batman-related Halloween costume plans this year? Want to do that? Maybe. I'm in. We, we've done that before. I could dress a... As Batman, you could dress up as the Joker. I don't the have facial Joker. hair. Joker. I don't have facial hair. Batman doesn't have facial hair. I just want you to say facial hair a couple more times. Facial hair. <laughs> the statue talk in this comment. This is how everything's going. How is everything going, Dad? How's everything going? Everything's going well. How about yourself? It's going well, guys. Tesla can't make a bulletproof car like the Batmobile yet, lol. Yeah. Well, that's. Did you keep saying lol? Well, look. It's LOL. I don't care. Do people pronounce it lol? Lol. Lol? I think you're crazy. But we've, we've known that for years. I have the 89 Batman coming down the steps into the Batcave. So nice. That's cool. Yeah. Really cool. Still not 100% sure where I'm putting this. Oh, I just realized it. Like the helmet I'm back here, it's kind of like a rubber. Yeah, that's what I said. I it's it's kind of a weird material for a Lego. I didn't know. Because, like, mm -hmm. I can pinch the head. But it's, piece. you know, you haven't <clears throat> built too much over the years and I haven't that's helped not you. True. I mean, I haven't, I mean, lately. Um, and so. I, they they may have been using that material more lately. I don't know. 
I've been building a ton. But it's been a minute since we've built a big thing like this. I've been building the race cars lately. Yeah, you've been doing the real nice race cars, you and your brother. All right, it's really coming together now, guys. Doesn't look like a Batmobile yet, but it is. Okay. It is. Said, uh, Prince, Clown Prince of Crime Hudson says, uh, I want my niece who's two years old to be Commissioner Gordon so she'll have a fluffy white mustache. <laughs> Kate, and then Katie Cat responds saying, oh, that sounds adorable. <laughs> Just imagine a baby with a white, fluffy cop mustache. That'd be pretty funny. <laughs> be pretty funny. All right. This will take way longer than I thought. <laughs> Yeah, it is. Uh, let's see, that is not lining up. Let's see what I'm missing here. That lines up right there, but then that's a blue piece, and that is not not what I'm seeing here. Marcus Gomez says he's trying to finish his scarecrow cosplay. Scarecrow cosplay. That's awesome. You might have to be a fe featured cosplayer. Yep, that's right. That's awesome. Don't you have those? We do have featured cosplay artists from time to time. Yes, we do. Uh, they say, uh, what is Comic Con? Uh, Clown Prince of Crime Hudson says, whenever it's Comic Con, I'm either going as Deathstroke or Red Hood Joker. Two good characters, in my opinion. I like them both, honestly. I'm still a little bit of chat lag, but we're fine. Can you guys see me? Maybe. There's my hand right there. Hello, guys. Ugh. It's quiet. Too quiet. Okay. Because you're building Legos. All right. What's the next what's the next chat topic here? We don't have one in the chat. Oh, epic choices. That was the next comment. Epic choices? Yeah, about the death stroke and the uh, red hood joker. Mm -hmm. I like the I like those. It's like he's gonna cosplay him. Oh there we go. Also, a lot of people aren't red hood joker. That's true. That's true. Oh. oh, my bad. The wrong, the worst part about building Legos whenever you got a piece in the wrong place from like five pages ago. That happens to me way, way. Yeah, I think too that's often. where I'm at right this second. Actually, I think that's where I'm at. So I'm just trying to kind of figure out exactly where I may have gone askew. Functional Batman uh, gadgets you wish existed, Dad. Go. Uh, I think the Batarang would be pretty awesome. I want the Batmobile. Um, yeah, a real life Batmobile would be awesome. I mean, I know like there's already bulletproof cars and stuff. I just dropped one. Can you get that oh. for me? Oh yeah. You see it? I do. All right. Let's see where I where I went wrong here. Hello, everybody. Are you with me? Dang it. All right, where was that piece at right there? Okay. Let's see. Let's see if I can figure out where I went wrong here. Bat nagging wife repellent. <laughs> Dad. Yes. Brad Liner says, I always hope for a bat, bat nagget or nagging wife repellent. Bat nagget? Bat nagging. Well, you don't, you don't want too many of those, I suppose. <laughs> if Batman's grapple gun is real, I'd rip off a normal person's arm if they try to use it. That's probably true. 
data. If a Batman's grapple gun is real, it would probably rip off a normal person's arm if they tried using it. Probably. Probably. All right, where am I? Where have I gone wrong here? Ejection seats in the Batmobile. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Dead. Shark repellent spray. Shark repellent spray. That'd be perfect, actually. Maybe I put these in the wrong spot. I think that's what I did. I think I figured out where I went wrong here. Ah. I think I put these in the wrong spot. These oh, are actually in the middle, I think. Let's see. We're watching the bat. We're, we're watching the bat work in the cave, building another Batmobile. Hey, ain't this Lucas Lucius Fox's style? That's right, it is. He should be building this for us. For sure. Uh, yeah, they're saying make a Lucius Fox statue, probably one statue. Would love that. Would you get it if it came out? I probably, no I probably would. I'd rather have a um, Alfred. Oh, you guys can see my hand in the mouse. Are you really wanting to be on camera? No. You could, you could go on camera if you would like. I don't know if my head looks good or not. Right now. You say I don't know if my head looks good. Yeah, does it? Look Oh, uh, Exango says. I bought every single set from the Lego Batman movie when it came out. My hands started getting so numb that I had to wear gloves to finish them. <laughs> That's a problem, man. That's a problem. That is a problem. Let me go back to this page. So I think those are just, they just flat out stick out. I think. They stick out from this black one there. All right, I think I maybe figured out where I was going wrong with that. And then maybe. Was Deathstroke in uh, Justice League? In Injustice one? Which one? Injustice? I don't know. I don't it's know. It's like a game. Yeah. So, what do you got going up for sale in the next auction, Dad? Uh, I've got some stuff. I've got some maybe some comics or art prints and things like that. I'm also going to be doing a statue sale um, <laughs> video, which uh, I'm going to say we, that we, I helped make the intro. Yeah, we can't uh, tell you too much about it, uh, but uh, yeah, we are going to be uh, having some fun with that. So stay tuned for sure. That'll be a lot of fun. Brad, I will do what you say, man. I'm not going to show the comments. Oh, you probably already see it. <laughs> There you go. No, do not do that. I'm going to do it. We're going to ban Brad from the chat <laughs> if he keeps that up. That's for sure. I'll do it. I'll put you in timeout, Brad. No, don't put him in timeout. <laughs> I'll put him in timeout. I'm, I'm sure he'll be a good boy, right, Brad? Brad, if you get one bad idea, I'll put you in timeout, all right? <laughs> it's pretty funny. Pretty funny. This piece right here is confusing me a bit. <clears throat> All right, so where am I? I got that piece. Hate I hate the standstill here, where I feel like I'm where I've lost something here. Lieber Mango Joker CGC in the auction, maybe. I have a five-year-old son. If you want to trade, <laughs> okay, there you go. I don't think we're taking kids at the time. Let's see, that can't be right. How much to get Chris to dump all the bags into one bowl and mix all the pieces up? Hey, I got it. Hey, Dad. Yeah. How much for a donation? <sighs> Gee, many Christmas. To, that was hard. To get all the bags and dump them all in one bowl. I would. How much money? I would cry for, for a very long time. How much money in a donation for it? <sighs> What are, what are you asking? Okay, so he said, how much like money, like in a donation, to get Chris to dump all the bags into one bowl and mix all the pieces up? <laughs> oh my god! 
what what would the donation have to be? Uh, my own sanity, I think, is what that would be. Oh my god. Yeah, I think yeah, the list of price, man. Huh? Probably have the list of price. List of price? What do you think? I don't know. What, what I would say a thousand dollars. A thousand? Okay, a thousand dollars. It's gonna take yeah. way too long to beat that back. <clears throat> yeah. All right, my PayPal is the Batman Statue Collector at gmail.com. Or you can so just yeah. Donate on YouTube. <laughs> well, YouTube, the problem with YouTube is they take like 30%. Well, what's 30 PayPal doesn't. Okay. That's too funny. That's too funny. <laughs> I only got half the sanity I can donate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's yeah, I'll take I'll take the whole sanity if you want. That'd be all right. <laughs> That would be okay. <laughs> Let's see. I think it maybe. What was the highest viewer count we got? We were over hundred, weren't we? I don't. I don't know if we've crossed that tonight. I didn't, I didn't know how many people would be watching. It's... What's Batman's favorite candy bar? I what think is... this is like a riddle slash joke. What is it? I have no clue. She didn't put the answer yet. But the answer, Katie Cat. We must know this information. Let's see here. Give you guys kind of an update of where we're at. Watching so far. We are getting ready for bag two. If I could just figure out where I'm missing this piece right here. <clears throat> Wait, what? They said, what was Batman's favorite candy bar? And, this, and then Brad said, a hundred grand? <laughs> What? 100 grand. That's a candy bar. Oh, it is? Yep. That explains why it's so rich. You must have sold a ton of those. That's right. I don't even want to know what Batman's diet must be. Must be like. Says Exondo. Exondo. Probably. Uh, drinks water nonstop. Throw it on. I just want to know what you think. Probably doesn't eat anything. Dang, you still going? Okay. I think we're ready Katie. for bag number two. Bag number two. Katie, I'm going to join you on this one, actually. My favorite candy bar is a like chocolate candy bar. It's a Kit Kat. Kit Kat? You must have been dropped on your head as a kid. And now it's saying that's what she said. Not, oh. Yeah, not that I not that I will admit that you were dropped on your head as a child. I, I totally wasn't. But My you, head totally didn't go into a fan blade. Yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah your grandma ceiling fan blade is a lake. <laughs> which would explain your divot head, but, you know, other than that. Oh, no, yeah, you know. All right, you know, all these little pieces in bag number two. Number two. A lot more smaller pieces in bag number two. So that'll hopefully not be too annoying. But we'll it's find out. Cool. It might be. You got four of these and four of those. Hershey's cookies and cream, but they've changed something since it tastes different now. Well, it, you know, really, if you guys want to know, the, the best candy bar on the planet is probably a Reese's peanut butter cup. Oh, that's not even a um, candy bar. Well, yes, it is. That, yeah, that, that's not a candy bar. That's a candy freaking cup. A candy cup is the same as a candy bar. No, I also different. like Hershey's Her, Hershey's milk chocolate, which you, Ledger doesn't like chocolate because he was dropped on his head as a kid. I like Kit Kats. That's chocolate, man. Yeah, you say you don't like chocolate, but yet you I eat like, chocolate. Like brownies. There's some type of chocolate that I don't like. Why, why did you put your computer on a tweeter headphones? Uh, because that's what I had to prop it up at the time. I was trying to get... <laughs> The darn thing up and running, but Out of everything you put it on, you put it you on. Saw the this, yeah, you saw how that went. Yeah, you saw how that was going. <laughs> yes, we, we have had definitely some technical technical difficulties. Just a few. Ah, uh, he said that's a candy circle. It is a candy circle. It You're was. right. It is a candy circle. Not a rectangle, man. Whatever. That's a lot of color for a black car. Yeah. Look, red, yellow. Yeah, blue. it's weird. It's but like all of this is like the under. The undercarriage. She said Reese's sticks are the bomb. Katie Cat did. Reese's sticks. I don't think I've ever had a Reese's. What stick. is a Reese's stick? Yeah, what's a Reese's? I mean, it's probably stick? a peanut butter cup, but just. I love peanut butter cups. I like uh, peanut butter eggs. 
this time of year. They're always delicious. I try uh, not to eat too many of them. Did you know? Oh, that's the wrong thing. That is. Mm. Okay. Uh, did you know that? Did you notice that on the coming, on the upcoming Batman bus from the sideshow is the same side, same as the upcoming Batman tweeter head? Any comments? Read that again, because I have no idea what you just said. <laughs> Chris, did you notice that the upcoming Batman bust from Sideshow is the same as the upcoming Batman tweeter head? Any comments? Upcoming Batman bust? I, from Sideshow. Are you talking about the 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 like the third scale bust? Is the same as the upcoming Batman tweeter head? Uh, tweeter head has not revealed any. Oh yeah, they did. I know what you're talking about now, Bat Kid, with that little silhouette. Yes, same pose. That's what you're talking about. I get it. Um, uh, I am a bit surprised uh, by that a bit, yes. Um, I don't think it's intentional, um, but I am excited to see how it turns out. I am excited about that. Xango says you got to wipe off that whenever you're done, like wipe off the edges because it's supposed to have like a ton of fingerprints. What? The like the Batman car. Whenever oh, you're done, whenever you're, off, like, take a cloth and wipe it When off. we're done building, you mean? Yeah. Uh, we're talking about Reese's Peanut Butter Sticks. It's like the top of the ship. Hopefully we got my sentence from the one. Reese's Easter Eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are my, those are what I, I think those are my favorite. Birthday Cake Three Musketeers. Wow, what's that? I love Three Musketeers. What's, Chocolate what's Birthday orange. Cake? Do you want me to bring you a Hershey's? I, I, no. But you can tell I'm, I must be out of the uh, candy bar loop if I don't know what these are. Well, there's always a ton of things that get released in half the time you don't know what they are. Well. See, I'm that way. I'm out of touch sometimes, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm tired. Tired? Yeah, I told you, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I told you, man. I told you, man. Told you I'm tired. Hello, Damai Lees. Nice to see you at the stream. What is a pose you ban from ever being used for statues again? Captain Morgan. Okay. I thought you'd say the Harley Quinn back there. Nope, Captain Morgan pose. Uh, they're saying they have a birthday cake one. Who knew that Three Months of Tears... Made a birthday cake three musketeers. Tell the truth. I want to see it in the comments. Do you have any idea what you're talking about at this point? Nope. nope. All I hear is candy. Candy. And I like talking about candy. How who about can, how about can, pizza? We have pizza. Who can <coughs> tell me about talking about candy though? Candy is pretty delicious. What's the name of the set? Annabelle's wants to know. This is the Batman 89. Um this one right here. What's the box? Right there, Batman 89. This is uh, set number. Probably check the box. Oh, let's see which set number this is. Batman 89, Batmobile. Oh, Lego. Um, 76139. Right there. Oh, there. Thank you. Uh, Okay. All right. Where am I at? Let's see. Got distracted. <laughs> at least your voice helping. My voice won't get on Fortnite with that. Let's go screaming all day. Man, you are preaching to the choir. Uh, I don't play Fortnite anymore. You did for I, a, I did. a year solid. But I don't play it anymore. And oh my god, were you annoying. That was just so crazy. Crazy. Lobster Thermidor is is what Batman's favorite microwave food. Hmm? Okay. Are you going to get that Lego tumbler as a Heath Ledger Joker minifigure that comes with it? Uh probably not. Brad says, I'm out. Got to go finish WandaVision. But I'll be back before you finish Bag 2. No, oh, well, <laughs> that's, that's kind of a roast. That is kind of a roast. That's I think that's exactly roast, what man. that is. Kind of a roast. 
I think that's a roast, but he is um, he is not wrong. Oh, it's gonna take you a little bit, man. For sure. Consider buy considering buying for a statue premium for my Batman. Should, what should I get? Blue or now black pre order? Man, it really depends. <clears throat> um, like me, the the blue is just not for me. I just don't love that color. I, I like him fighting crime in, in black. Um, I just feel like that's what he would be in, in, in real life. If he was fighting crime. Um, that's not to say that the, the, this, the, the blue is incredible. Like it is really, really incredible. Um, but I'm really happy with my black version. I, I'm really happy with it. Yes, right. Lucas, it does. Um, I think I have the Batman suit. It also has a Joker suit. Imagine if the Prime One statues came in this many pieces. That would be horrible. It would be horrible, my friend. Uh, this is... It's like 3,000 pieces. Yeah, now my eyes are getting tired, and it's like trying to like see these little pieces. It has Avengers. I don't know if it's got DC characters. What? What? Did you just ask uh, me a question? Oh, that, that's for Fortnite. Uh, has... Yeah, you, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you answer all the Fortnite questions. I don't know too much about Fortnite. You don't know too much about Fortnite. Too much about Fortnite. I only know the you stuff are, that I know. You are out of your head, dude. You know a lot about Fortnite. Trust me. At the point, Batman is in the comics. At the point Batman is is at in comics, now he could pr probably wear whatever he wants and still fight crime without any trouble. Probably. That's probably correct. Dad, you have the question of a lifetime. Okay. DC or Marvel? You know, that's tough because um, I love them both. That's probably the most difficult question. Yeah, I love them both. Um. I love Batman, but I like I love the DCU or the MCU. Excuse me, DCU would be interesting. I guess that is. I guess it is already the DCU. It's a DC Cinematic Universe. But I love Marvel. I love Wandavision. I love all of. I just love. I love all of it. It's so smartly written. Um, I like them both as well. Yeah, I'm just really excited for just anything geeky. I love. For a third time, Xango, for a third time, they've had a Batman crossover, and then a Joker one, and now they're doing another one? I bet that's Django, maybe. Django, I don't know. I, bet, I could be wrong, too. I don't know. Is this, uh, just got here, it says, Mask Week. Just got here, is this the Batmobile you went with instead of Iron Studios? I, I went with both. <laughs> Uh, I get my Iron Studios Batmobile, uh, the Batcave edition, uh, on Monday. Uh, probably be doing a live unboxing maybe Monday. We also have a Rogues Gallery live live auction next week, so I don't know if I'm gonna like overdo it <laughs> with stuff, but uh, we shall see. Um, but yeah, I did end up getting both. One fifth prime one or premium for format for those Batman figures. Uh, it's the same guy who asked this. All right, what was the question? One fifth prime one or premium format? Um, I would go with the premium format. The one fifth is cool, but it's not a scale that I collect. Uh, if you don't have a lot of room, it might be a good scale for you. Um, but I prefer the premium format scales. Good question. Batman does not belong in Fortnite. I agree. Batman no, you loved him. Didn't Fortnite. you love playing Batman I, in Fortnite? I did, but he did not belong there. Uh, don't drop any pieces. You don't want to step on it. No kidding. Oh. I am terrified that that's going to happen. DC has a much bigger variety of stories as a lot of Marvel stuff is geared mostly towards the same audience. Yeah, yeah. Uh, DC has a much bigger variety of stories. But Mar Marvel is mostly fo focused on the same stuff. Which is... Um, uh, do you think the Prime one would come out next with a Catwoman one-third Hush or a Joker? 
All right, say that again. Would you think the prime one would come out with? Who do you think prime one would come out next with? Catwoman, one third Hush, or a Joker? Uh, they, I don't think they're going to come out with another Joker soon, so I think probably the Catwoman Hush would be first. Um, but you know, it's sometimes hard to read what Prime One's going to do. Sometimes they have multiple characters out at the same time, which I don't always think is all that smart. Star Wars, uh, or sales Star wise, Trek? what? Star Wars or Star Trek? I love both, but I like Star Wars better. Yeah. I grew up with Star Trek because my dad loves Star Trek. Uh, where's your Rogues next week? Sorry, just questions. Uh, Rogues Wednesday night. <clears throat> it's going to be at 7 p.m. And we're doing an auction show. Uh, which of the three new Jokers will you be getting? <clears throat> uh, which one are you talking about? Three new ones. I know. Which one are you talking about? I have no clue. Mm -hmm. Um... Hush Joker, Jim Lee's Joker, looks like a goblin. So basically, this is like a Lego Q&A. We're trying to answer questions. And we're also building Legos, so. <laughs> Are you looking forward to Zack Snyder's Justice League? I am. Very, very much. Uh, I hope it's good. I hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> I'm worried that it might uh, not live up to the hype. I think that that's... Uh, you think it'd be too uh, violent for me? No, I don't think it'll be too violent for you. Okay. Um, I just... Uh, I don't know. I mean, I we've already seen the movie once, so I don't really know how much they can really change. Um, it clearly won't have the, 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 the dumb humor and some of that stuff. Um, so I, I'm very optimistic. I'm looking forward to it. I'm just going to enjoy it as a fan. And if it's good, it's good. And if it's not good, then I probably won't watch it again. Uh, JND, JND, Queen Studios or Prime One Heath Ledger? Um, I went with the Prime One Heath Ledger. Uh, they're both really good, especially after that uh, last video. He's over there. Uh, no, uh, he is uh, on pre-order, actually. Uh, I don't have him in yet. Um, I do really think the J&D looks good. Um, <clears throat> I don't think that the sculpt is there um, enough. I don't think the sculpt is there enough. I think the body looks good and the clothing looks good, but I just don't think the sculpt is there enough to justify the price because um, it is incredibly expensive. What is your favorite Lego piece? Or do you hate all of them now? Do I hate all of the Lego pieces? What, what is your favorite Lego piece? Uh, you mean like the, the set? The favorite Lego set? Sure. He says Lego I piece. Think my, I think probably the Disney Castle, just because we're such a big Disney fan. I really like the Did castle like set. the Millennium Falcon? Millennium Falcon was fun to build. That was another long build. Uh, they said the Snyder Cut is supposed to be three hours of new footage. Well, I will believe it when I see it. <laughs> That's a lot of money for reshoots. Yeah. So, so said, this is the piece I just built there. It's pretty big. They said this took him six days. Someone said it took him six days to build this. Uh, th this, this did? Yeah. I bet he probably took breaks, though. Yeah, we're going to definitely take some breaks. Uh, Katie Cat, we checked our local Walmart stores and they're out of 89 bettering too. Apparently, uh, Walmart has a lot of exclusive deals on them, but they will be uh, available everywhere this month, including Amazon. Oh, yours is sold out. Oh, well, thank you for looking. Thank you very much. Darn, yeah. darn it. I was really hoping to get that. That's that's too bad. But thank okay. you. Thank you again for looking. Apparently, Zack Snyder didn't get paid for the Snyder Cut. That's what I've heard. Really? So, you know, if he doesn't get paid, I don't know how they're doing three hours of reshoots. Like, I just don't I just don't think that's going to happen. Um, so I don't think there's that much new footage. A&J's Collectible says, I, I heard four hours. Hope I'm, long. Hope I'm wrong. Uh, A&J says uh, that it's four hours long. They said it's four hours. 
No, like I said, I, I hope I'm wrong. Uh, who is your favorite Star Wars character? Uh, Darth Vader. <laughs> that sounds like you. <laughs> I also like Emperor Palpatine. Uh, uh, I'm a big fan of him. I like. Uh, I've always liked the bad guys. Um, that's just who, he, who I gravitate toward usually. He said he did take breaks, judging that he's 13 years old, and it's pretty impressive that he built that. Yeah, that is pretty impressive that he built that. Honestly. Who? Uh, Pug T. He's the guy who built the the sorry. Oh, the Batmobile. Yeah, that's awesome. Is the one that took him six days? That is awesome. He said, uh, "Katie Cat says, yeah, no problem. If I happen to find another one, I'll snipe one for you." I appreciate that, Katie. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Zango says. Uh, I'd be more hyped for the original cut of Batman Forever out of all the DC movies. They could do this for. Oh, this is for. All right, getting more and more black elements, which is That's the front <laughs> hard to see. Is that the front or the back? What? That's what it is. I think this is the back, I think. I think this is like the back bumper. I think. I'm hard check to the say. Oh, oh. <laughs> my knee hurting at the table. Oh, you were almost nearly in big trouble. I'll make it worse. All right. Well, clearly, that. I have lost a piece somewhere where I did not add a piece. Oh. There. Mm -hmm. That's all right. And that's at, least all right. at least we're getting the dark side on it. Can't get it because they're talking. We were talking about Star Wars. Right? Oh, I do. Original, uh, original cut of thirty minutes of Snyder. This version has four hours. Woo! That's an insane time for a movie. Ah. Uh, no. This is supposed to be level right there. It's not. So where did I miss this here? Uh, Max Squeak says, I think Snyder did for free in order for them to do the reshoots. Oh, that could be. Could be. Ah. Uh, Pug TM TEM says, I also got the Batwing. The Batmobile took longer because it was used and I had to find all the pieces, but the Batmo Batwing was two days. So. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, that's where I messed up right there. I bet that is the back, judging by how that's the pins pulling on. I messed that up right there. You're about to an hour and 45 minutes. Ugh, I tell you, craziness. Oh, craziness. God. All right, now it's going to work. Now it's going to work. There we go. It's amazing if you miss just one little step, how it can really throw you off. It really can. In everything you do with building. But I figured it out. I found out my missing parts. Jonathan says, uh, Snyder back up. gave up pay to, get, to have creative control. Well, that's great to hear. Um, again, I'm just very optimistic that it'll be good. Sounds like he's given up money to make a good movie. Well, I mean, this is kind of sort of his reputation on the line, and, and fans really wanted it. They did this online petition, and, you know, they made a big deal out of getting it made. So, uh oh. I have a question for you, and it's about cereal. What goes first, the milk or the cereal? What goes first, the milk or the cereal? I always pour cereal in and then the milk. That, that's how I do it, too. Yep. Is there any other way to do it? Other than milk and <laughs> pour milk in first. I know, I'm just kidding. Which is evil. Uh, the Batmobile is one of the hardest Lego sets he's ever built. So bug to you. Yeah, I'm finding that out. <laughs> there's, there's, there's a lot of detail to this thing. I... Uh, 
Uh, <laughs> probably should have thought this through a little bit better, you know? Hey, Dad, do you want a Batmobile sticker? Not yet, but whenever it's time, I definitely will do you know, a Batmobile Dad, sticker. You can, have, you can have the one that has all the measurements. Set for it. Well, that goes through there. All right. Let's see. Get that to line up right. Cereal first, then soda, then milk, and then tomato sauce is how I do it. What? Tomato sauce. Tomato sauce. <laughs> Here's a question. I'm not so sure about the tomato sauce part. Here's a question. I do like tomato sauce. Here's a question. Does a straw have one or two holes? Ooh, that's that's deep thinking <laughs> right there. Who said that? That is a shower thought, Pug T. Wow, man. Pug. Man, that, that is, is a some, shower thought. That is some <laughs> deep, deep thought there, buddy. Oh. Oh, that that's... I gotta get that off the screen. That's hurting my brain. Hurting your brain. <laughs> That's something I'm gonna say at school. All right. Why will that not go in there? Dad, did you end up pre-ordering Talon after all? Uh, I haven't yet. I've been waiting for it to go up on Sideshow. Uh, I'm kind of thinking that if it doesn't by Monday, I might go ahead and just pre-order it from Prime One. They said that's some riddle, riddler level questions. Yes, it is. <laughs> Why will that not go through there? Should go through there. Maybe I gotta wait till I. Jonathan says it's one long hole. I mean, that's true. It is one long hole. It's more like a tube, though. That is probably correct. It's like a miniature tube. Yeah, actually, it kind of is. All right, we're rolling right along now. There we go. Bag number two. Steam trucking. That's right. There's not a ton of pieces left on this bag, so we might have, we might have, we might wrap it up after two. I think that's probably where we're going to end up tonight. Yeah. We're Say we're going to bet like two hour chunks. So we're about one hour and forty seven minutes. So. Yeah, I think we've. I think both of us maybe are getting tired. maybe overstayed our welcome too long. I don't know. We'll see. Is it a hole or a cylinder? Uh, don't know. We've really gone off the rails with these today, with these questions now. See. Okay. Uh, Pug T E M says, "Here's a riddle. I stick to some surfaces, but in fact, I'm not sticky at all. Water or Coca Cola. That's possible." Uh, Mask Week says, "Watching this is giving me war flashbacks to building the Death Star." No, I tell you. <laughs> This is uh, uh, not you, not easy. Are you planning to get any more DC uh, one tenth scale pieces? Um, now that I've bought the Iron Studios Batmobile, there's a chance that I might get that Penguin. Um, I feel like it's a little bit over overpriced for what it is. I guess the question Pugs Riddle wrong. He said it's a magnet. It's sticky, but what was the it's sticky, but what? It's, here's a riddle. I stick to some surfaces, but in fact, I'm not sticky at all. What is it? Magnet. Magnet. I've never been very good at riddles. Okay. Jeff Morris asks, is a killer croc, is killer croc a reptile or a mammal? I don't know. What are crocodiles? Uh... Uh, A and J's collectible says, "Did you order a Harley uh, Quinn bust? The Harley Quinn bust." Uh, are you talking about the Infinity Studios? If so, it's not up for pre-order yet. Wait, what the hell? I hope I was yeah, supposed to done. push that all the way through. <laughs> if not, I'm in big trouble. All right, so that worked. That fit. Okay. All right, got that done. Man, this is just, it's crazy how complicated it is underneath this. Like, it's just, the person that thought this through is just literally cray-cray. Yeah, cray-cray. He thought, we are every color. 
But the we are. What? I don't know. I'm getting too tired to even think about what that what that means. <laughs> it, he's going uh, above and beyond my brain right now. It's getting to be fried looking at these small pictures. Read on me this. Dark night. Dark night. What can you keep after giving to someone? What can you keep after giving? Can you keep after giving to someone? What can you keep after giving to someone? Oh, love. Your love? Yeah. You say that that seems legit to me. Yeah, that that's right. At school we did a <coughs> vote on Marvel versus DC, and I was the only one who liked DC. Oh, that's unfortunate, Pug. That's actually really unfortunate. It is. The new Superman one tenth scale review from Iron Studios look good. Got your opinion? Um oh yeah, I did see that today. I actually added it to my uh Rogues Gallery folder. Uh, I think that's going to be a really cool piece. Um, I, again, I'm not a giant fan of 110, but I do think it looked good. Uh, I love the flag. Had some nice movement to it. Hey, Dad, the Harley Quinn bust was the Margaret Robbie yeah. bust. Yeah, uh, I am very much considering it. I mean, if it's like six grand, I'm out. Like, it's just there's just no way. Um, I, I would love to have that piece. Uh, I do feel like some of those pieces are like borderline – creepy um but I, I love them i mean they're just mind-blowingly good um but at the end of the day i just don't if it's if it's so much money i just don't know if i can i, I can swing it it's just a lot but i would like to make it happen if i could anybody else in the chat going to try to pick it up i'm guessing there's not going to be a lot of people buying that because it's very expensive uh, Puck says, this is my opinion, but I think Batman 89 is the best superhero movie ever. Well, I, 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 Michael Keaton is still my Batman. Uh, I really, you know, absolutely love him. Um, I, I prefer Returns, but that's Dan just me. Danny asked, uh, she asked, uh, can you show us the Millennium Falcon? No. <laughs> no, um, we sold that a long time that. ago. Uh, we did. I, I bought that actually. Yep, we did. All right, I am missing. I need a gray. Oh, right there. Never mind. It's crazy how much Lego prices have raised. Yes. Uh, like that, I think was what a hundred dollars. Yeah. The Millennium Falcon. Probably, probably around that. Yeah, at that time. I remember it was like. Um. Yeah, at that time, Ledger was wanting to buy other things, like he would build it and then want to do something different, um, which is understandable. Yeah, George says, same here, my, Michael Keaton, my favorite Batman. Um, they're saying Infinity, Infinity of Students, Catwoman bust. They're looking forward to the... No, I'm looking forward to that one, too. Um, I, I really hope it's uh, cool. I'm sure it will be. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that a lot. Yeah, Lego Lego is one of the things that where everything just goes up in value no matter what it is. You know, they say that Lego is worth, uh, you know, your return is worth more than gold. Um, it, it's really expensive. Which is pretty incredible. Like the, the small Lego sets that you used to be able to get for like $5 are now like $20. Yeah, they just, they're, they retain their value. They've just, they're very popular worldwide. And, Especially uh, over quarantine whenever you had actual time to build those Legos. Yep. The prices raised like crazy. So I don't know. Like it's just pretty, pretty nuts how well Lego does. But I mean, they're they're fun. I mean, they're universal. They're timeless. And they can be enjoyed by every generation. Yep. All the way to ninety nine years old. If you're hundred, you're screwed. Yeah, you're hundred. Sorry, guys. Yep. <laughs> yep. Hundred years old. I feel bad for those people. They're like, no, if you can't build Legos, how dare you? How dare you? <laughs> All right, now we're adding some color to this thing. Oh, they said they're coming yellow out with here. the Winnie the Pooh set. You know, I, I actually consider that. Uh, I really like to collect the Disney sets. Um, I would really like to get the train station, the Disneyland train station, which I have not got yet. Um, I said, really, really want them to do a Haunted Mansion Lego set. I think that would be incredible. I would buy it day one. Uh... Lucas Gomez says the Batman Returns is better than Batman 89. 
Do you agree with that? Say that again. I... Uh, Lucas Gomez says he thinks that Batman Returns is better than Batman 89. Well, I've answered that like four times tonight. What did I say? You said Batman Returns is better. Batman Returns is better, I think. Uh, I love it. It's so dark and it's just awesome. Just awesome. That Millennium Falcon look, piece looks amazing. Well, that depends. There's two different Millennium Falcon Legos uh, sets. So there's like a there's an older version and then there's the newer one, which has a lot more pieces and it's bigger. It's kind of like this one, but like way more. It has like multiple different sets basically into it. And then the older one, which I had, it was it was a little bit less than this, but yeah. <laughs> This is this uh, is what we're building here now. Lego piece comes by if you can try and play with them at hundred. <laughs> All right, let's see. Thanks everybody for still sticking with me. Uh, again, thank you everybody that's uh, done super chats tonight. That's just awesome. It really helps us. So thank you very much. Uh, just again, just awesome of you guys to do that. So thank you. Uh, they said that they might be coming out with a Polar Express Lego set. That could be interesting. Yeah. Oh, there's like, he said there's actually like eight different Millennium Falcon Legos. Yeah, they've been a lot over the years. Yeah. And they kept upgrading it every time. Yeah, it always gets. That upgrades in value. Yeah, it always gets a little bit better, I think. Um, How much was the modern Millennium Falcon? I know it's more than this. I think so. Like, there's like that Star Destroyer, which is awesome. I, would, I, I really want the Star Destroyer. I would love that. My favorite Star Wars vehicle is uh, the the uh, Imperial shuttle, the, the Emperor shuttle. Uh, yeah. I want the, I want either the TIE fighter, the star destroyer or. Um, All those would be amazing to build. I can't think of what it's called. It's like the, it's not. I want to give a shout out to DT from DT tube. Uh, he did uh, him and his son did uh, the, the star destroyer uh, on his channel. I uh, probably on Evan tube uh, HD, but man, that thing is just so cool. Is this something about my age? I think so, give or take. Mm -hmm. But you, we got to catch up. They have like three or four million or six million subscribers. So everybody subscribe. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, you got to subscribe. We got to get to four million. We're we're almost yeah. there. Yeah, we're almost there. Yeah, we're only like four million away. Yeah, we're million yeah away. yeah <laughs> yeah. We're we're just slightly away. Bye, Pug. Pug's got to head out. All right, Pug. Thank you for being here. Uh, also, again, guys, if you haven't yet, please uh, hit that like button. Thank you. Uh, Katie says, uh, any Harry Potter Lego sets? I, I would love to do all the Harry Potter stuff. I, I really want to do that castle. I feel like mom would help you build. Yeah, I don't. Just She's just not interested. I don't think she'd be too interested in it. But, I, um, man, I would just love to build that castle. It's uh, really cool. Oh, this is kind of lucky. Uh, Xango, uh, Django says, I was a kid during the prequels. I got every single Revenge of the Sith Lego set back in the day. Oh, that's cool. I think Revenge of the Sith is my favorite Star Wars movie. I can't lie. What? I really like it. Well, it is great, but it's your favorite. It's probably my favorite. We Star Wars need to, We need to have a talk. What's your favorite Star Wars movie? Empire Strikes Back. Mm, that's a good one. Because that is the best Star Wars movie. I yeah. Mean, it's just there's just no. I like There's two. no doubt about it. I like those two. I don't like the mo uh, the newer ones as much. <clears throat> Ray, Poe, and Finn. Now you and just about everybody else. I I enjoyed them. They're they're okay. They're I did okay. not I did not crap all over them like some people did. I'm I'm not saying they're the worst movies that I've ever watched, but like they have, they have a good. These story. pieces are so different. Like I've never even seen. Yeah, I've never seen them before. I mean, but they're, they're just those movies are just I'm not used to it. These are crazy pieces I'm putting on right now. That's really neat. I'm probably going to get some hate for that. There's no hate on the internet. <sighs> I wish that's true, Dad. I do, too. I'm sure there's already like two or three people that have thumbs down this video, probably. So there's always a little bit of hate. <laughs> Jonathan says, time to rewatch the OG trilogy. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Kermit says uh, Revenge was his favorite Star Wars movie at the time as well. Well, so see, you have some other crazy people out there with you. See? Hey, I like Empire Strikes Back too. No, you just didn't grow up with Empire. That's true. I didn't even grow up with the older movies. That's the, the problem is that, you know, you didn't have much interest. And then as you grew older, you had more. Jonathan says you're slacking as a parent, Dad. I, yes, I know. 
Because I'm too busy being the Batman statue collector all the time. But I'm helping <coughs> you, you know. That's true. Yeah, Empire Strikes Back. That is back. true. Empire Strikes Back is a masterpiece. But I like the uh, Return of the Jedi better due to the bittersweet ending. And two hours live. Two hours. All right. You've done it, guys. All right. Well, we're, all, we're getting close to being done with this bag. And then we'll probably wrap it up for part one. And then we will. What you gotta do is you gotta make like a live stream channel, basically, where you put like the live streams that you did onto that channel. You, you think so? You huh? would record it and then you'd put it on. Isn't that what this channel is? Basically, but it would be like. I'm so a VOD confused. Channel. I'm so confused. A what? It's called a VOD channel. What's a VOD channel? So it just shows like your streams that you've done in the past. So, like, okay. you could upload, like, Rogue's Gallery Live. <coughs> okay. So, it's basically a designated channel to your live streams. All right. So, basically, you just go back. Well, I have a playlist that has all my Rogue's Gallery. Is it on YouTube? You can make it on YouTube. Where do most people make it? On YouTube. Okay. Do you, do you own any Batman cows? Not that I know of. I used to. I had some. But, uh, you know, I was kind of doing some cosplay. I did. A, I dressed up a lot for uh, my school at Halloween time. Um, you might have to give me one if we do that. But uh, school dre- we, if we do the Halloween dress up thing. Yeah. But uh, I kind of got out of that. When I became a counselor, I, uh, I don't have my own classroom anymore. So, I, I, you know, I, don't, I didn't dress up quite as often um, as I used to. All right, let's see. We're getting closer here, getting closer. Thank you again, everybody, for hanging out. Really appreciate it. 48, still hanging out. That's pretty amazing. I'm shocked. I didn't know how many people would really want to watch a live build like this, but uh, this has been a lot of fun. Guess it's a little bit popular. I like doing the Q&A with it as well. Yeah, it's fun. That's the best part is being able to interact with everybody. For sure. And this thing I'm building is pretty crazy. Our community, our fan base is awesome. Without a doubt, this this community is just second to none awesome. Uh, so many about, positive, fun people out there. Yeah, like I, I, I don't think I've seen a single bad comment in this chat yet. It's pretty awesome, um, right? And I've also seen some good comments as well. <laughs> well, some some good comments. So that's well, like I'm saying, like some like positive comments. Right, I know what you mean. Uh, how often are you going to be doing these building streams? Well, that's really up to the audience. Um, you know, I if if people like these things, I, I just wanted to try something out. So that's something fun. Uh, I was talking to my friend Dan, um, who watches a lot of these um, type of channels where they do like live builds and stuff, and. We got to talking and we thought, well, we, I love to build Legos and his family likes to build Legos. And so we um, just kind of talked and thought we would give it a shot. Um, but if people like it and you guys like it and, you know, you're you're watching and you're giving your thumbs ups and stuff, that lets me know that you want me to do this type of content. Um, I would love to keep doing them. But if no one watches, Hudson. I probably won't waste people's time. Hudson says like two to four times a month. <coughs> two to four times a month for the builds. So that's a good amount, though. You don't think that's too much? No. Uh, Chris, what Arkham game are you doing first, Origins or Asylum? Uh, I probably will do Asylum first when I start doing some gaming content. AJ and, Collect- AJ- a and J Collectibles says, watching my watching while my work day is ending. Thanks for helping make my uh, last two hours fly. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. Thank you very much. Uh, I, I do that myself sometimes where I, you know, just try to pass the time. And so I, <clears throat> I know exactly how that feels. So I'm glad I could add a little bit of uh, entertainment tonight for you guys. Django says, what is the next statue you, you will be receiving? I can answer this. The yes. Ho- uh, the Hot Toys, Iron Studios, Batmobile. Iron Studios, Batmobile. Yes, sir. Uh, I wanted to see how this Legos are. It looks like a good project for sure. I like it. Well, it is it is uh, complicated for sure, um, but it's a lot of fun. All right, let's make a deal with the chat here. 100 likes on this thing. 
on this video. 100 likes. So where are we at? Likes. Do you have any idea where we're at? I have no clue. Maybe 115. I don't know. And we will do another one of these videos. <coughs> that would be that would be cool. Uh, also, I mean, here let let me just look and see where we're at. Uh, because if we get to a certain point, uh, I, I will do a giveaway. Really? Yeah. Why not? And I like doing these streams. Let's we see. We've got... Uh, what would you give away? We've got 75 likes. 75 likes. So if we could get up to... If we can get up to 150, uh, 150 likes, I'll do a giveaway. Let's do it. I don't know if we'll get there. That's That's asking a lot. I know. I like this. The extreme channel, Mr. X, is if your son married. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't think so, uh, Mr. I, I don't X. I think I'm married. Does Mr. X is that, does Mr. X have any daughters? That uh, is that what he's trying to go for here? <laughs> oh, you made him chuckle. Uh oh. <laughs> yep. Looks. Uh, it's good to see the extreme channel in the chat tonight. Thank you for being here, sir. Uh, Jeff Moore says, uh, I'm glad you're doing this. It makes me realize I don't have the patience to build this. Laugh out loud. Well, I'm not sure, Jeff, that I have the patience to build this either. So uh, it's been uh, quite a journey here. I know this, this thing that I'm building right now is really crazy. Extreme Channel says, isn't that a wedding ring? Is this? Oh, you can't see my hands, can you? I do not have a wedding ring. Oh, maybe he thinks that, I, that this is you building. No, that I, this is this is... Like, this is, hi, Mr. X, is hi. Collector. I'm the old dude with the gray beard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love it. Uh, hey, it's Katie says, uh, I bought my first statue figure yesterday. Hopefully, it will be a few new additions before filming for your feature. Thank you for, so much for the opportunity. <clears throat> I brought my first bet. That's awesome. That's awesome. Northern Bass says, hey, let him in the studio. What does that mean? All right. Huh? He Dan said he's, in the he's in the studio. Dan, it's not showing you. Oh, Dan, I have an old link. Hold on. Uh oh. Hold on, Dan. I have an old link. Would you type in Facebook right there? Yeah. Hold on, Dan. Just one second. Oh, That's GG. That's yes. GG. Yeah, GG doesn't work. There we go. That's right there. All right. Got you, Dan. Dan, I'm going to send you a fresh link. Got you, Dan. Maybe. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. All right, because Dan, Dan, our original uh, deal, uh, we had to end. Sorry, man. All right, so there's a fresh link for you, Dan. There you go, man. Ah, whoops. All right. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. I got the mouse back. All right, so he might he might pop up here in just a second. Uh, hopefully here we'll hopefully said, we'll have it right for him. Can you trim your YouTube? Oh, that's the wrong thing. Can you trim your YouTube videos? What does that mean? Uh, yes, you can edit them down. Uh, you can do that. There he's there. Oh, oh. Just uh, hit click add to stream. Hello. Hey. hey. How's it hey. going? What's happening, fellas? Sorry. So, like, I did the stream first, and I had to stop because my audio was wrong. So what <laughs> I, I did know. is I had, I had a two-camera setup so I could have, like, a shot on, on us and then a shot on the table. Mm -hmm. and then, uh, But I only had two USB ports on my laptop. Uh -huh. And I didn't have a third for my microphone, so I had no audio working right. It was like a bad echo. So I ended that stream and started again. So, Man, Ledger, I thought you were a studio engineer, man. Come on. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> it means you know how to do this stuff. Come I on. I don't know how to do this stuff. <laughs> so I mean, don't actually own a computer. How do you expect me to know this? <laughs> you don't, yes, you do. Yeah, well, you have a Chromebook, I suppose. Yeah, but it's a school Chromebook. <laughs> I don't physically own it. That's true. How are you doing, sir? I'm doing well. I've been uh, I've been watching the show. I, I I tried to get in the link um got a while ago now. Um, but I am building along with you. I'm actually building Pose X Wing. Uh, oh, that's I awesome! Had, I had Luke, Luke's X Wing. Uh, yeah, Pose X Wing. Right now, so, you're already, you're pretty far along. I'm pretty far along, but <laughs> this has a few less pieces than the one you're tackling. Oh my god, I don't even know how many pieces this is. Like, Let's like see, 3, it's over 3,000. Yeah, 3,306. Oh my god, yeah, that's a beast. <coughs> that's it a is beast. a beast. This thing is crazy. Chrome yep, uh, and there's a there's a ton of technical with just that. Say, hold on, just say, I'm sorry, Dan Ledger was trying to talk to me. What say that again? I said, there's a ton of technic pieces that you know, it's uh. 
as much technic as it is brick built. It's it's just crazy because there's stuff I've never seen before in this set so far. <laughs> Tell how much I've uh, done tech wise. Hey, you know you were I heard you talking about you know a set that you really like is the Disney Castle. Yeah. I can't even tell you how close I am to pulling the trigger on that thing, Chris. It's just so neat. And like, I don't know. I, I've, I'm, I'm somebody that my entire life I've liked little maquettes or little yep. scenes. Yep. yep. And there, there's a company that does, um, I can't think of how, it's like a German name or something that does these little miniature Disney. Um, they have like Main Street um, and oh, I yep. think we lost. Oh, hold on. Hold on. You, you turned right. black. That's me. I can still hear you though. That's me. Okay, I'm back. Okay, um, but they're like these little miniatures of Disney, like Main Street and the castle, and you can yeah. make this giant diorama. It's like like sixty thousand dollars or something wow. if you buy all wow. of it. <clears throat> like it's just it's just nuts. And um, I've always kind of dreamed about maybe doing like a, a Lego city like that with the Disney, the Disney stuff, like doing the Main Street with the castle, and I just think that'd be really neat. That's really neat. I was actually suggesting to um, uh, another YouTuber that I watch that does the Lego stuff that, um, you know, he's got an amusement park section of his of his Lego city, uh, which is a real popular thing to do. You know, building a Lego city, you know, kind of around Legos, modular buildings and whatnot, very popular. And and a lot of people doing amusement parks around the uh, the Cinderella Castle, the new that new set, and it's an amazing set. I mean, it's the Walt Disney World version, and it's just beautiful. I mean, it's crazy good. Did you um, and uh, there's uh, um, there's a whole segment of the Lego community that builds what they call mocks. And so, for those in the chat who don't know what an MOC is, a mock, it is a my own creation in Lego. Uh, but what these builders do is they build mocks from sets. So they'll take the Cinderella Castle, for example, but build something different out of the pieces in the box. Um, and one that that I saw uh, that he's building is the uh, it's a costume shop, like a Main Street Disney World costume shop. That's it's just neat. absolutely cool. But it kind of is in line with what you were talking about was with those, those Main Street shops, you know, that lead to the castle and um, just some really you know, beautiful architecture and people that do really amazing models. It's really fun, you know? That's awesome. Yeah. That's really awesome. Mr. X has the Disney castle as well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Extreme channel. Uh, they said they have the Disney castle. Uh, that, that took me a legit seven hours straight. Um, oh yeah. To build that. Um, yeah. And so I, I, I just didn't know what to expect with this set. Um, so you, so you have this one. I, uh, I do not. Um, <laughs> you, just, so, you just watched it. Uh, so I, what's that? So you just watched it being built, though. Which one? The this this one right here, the '89 Batmobile. I have watched it being built. Yep. Yeah. Um, I so since not, we're uh, since we're talking and you just joined us, I think I'm going to go ahead and open up bag three. I wasn't no, going to no, open no, up no, bag no, three. No, 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 no. Nephew, yeah, go three. Go up and go to bed. I might have. To. Okay, so Ledger might be leaving. I might. Oh, Ledger. I've been doing this for two hours and thirteen minutes and even longer. Oh no, come on, you, you're just getting warmed up. Well, and you have to remember, Ledger has the attention span of a, of a two-year-old. So, you know, <laughs> oh. I've been doing this for like two in, uh, two hours and like 45 minutes. Oh, I'm Ledger. tired. I'm just done with the white beat you today. I'm out of it. All right. So I, I'm going to do bag three, and then I'm going to call it good for tonight. All right, man. Sounds good. All right. Since we've got new company. New company. That's right. I'm going to stay with New company. So, as long as you want, Ledge. I'm going to say it as much as I possibly can. Yeah. So, Chris, I have purposely not gone down the Batman Lego rabbit hole um, just because I'm afraid of what it would lead to. <laughs> well, you know, it's like there are, well, I guess there's what, three major sets? There's yeah. the Tumblr, the 89 Batmobile, and the, the Batwing. Um, of course there's all like the little mini sets, but I, and those are great, but I just don't know if that would be like, I mean, like, I don't know if you've ever seen the picture of my setup at work where I've got the whole Arkham Asylum and all of the bad guys coming out of the asylum, running away from Batman. How have I not seen that? I've seen every, I thought I saw every video you've ever made. <laughs> well, I don't think I've ever featured it on a video actually. You, you might um, have to take it. Sure maybe I'll, maybe I'll need to do that. Um, yeah. I'll put it up for put it up for our uh, members on YouTube. Yeah. Um, but 
basically I have the I, I I have the art the old Arkham Asylum and I actually added to yeah. it. I made it I made it deeper. Oh, um, cool. and so I did my own custom mod, yeah. I guess you're you yeah. see. And yeah. um, and then I have Clayface out front, and Batman is stuck to his hand. And then he's got a batarang that's repelled up to the top where Joker's floating with his balloons, escaping <laughs> out of Arkham. And then, but it's wrapped around his leg, that's so it's like awesome. this big—it's like this big action diorama. That's and awesome. Other ones as well. Um, so that's my big setup at work. But I'll have to send a photo. Uh, also, I'll try to remember to send it tonight or tomorrow. That's really cool. Yeah, I have um, I have the uh, the tumbler, the Batman tumbler, not the big one. But there's a no, smaller the, one. Yeah, the small one. And the, 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 uh, that my son made years ago. It's it's got to be at least it's got to be ten years old. It had to come out not long after the movie. Um, that was a good time to buy it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Cause, exactly. Because now they're really, especially the big one. Like it's really hard to find, and it's expensive. They're big money. <coughs> I heard you guys talking about the fact that Lego appreciates it. It truly is a commodity at this point. Um, it's amazing. It's like it, it's with the exception of the some of the smaller, just kind of you know, age four plus sets. Yeah, they pretty much all appreciate once they retire. Which you is know? just crazy, right? Yep. It's just a matter of how much, and some of them are nuts. I know the. I was actually just watching something earlier today, um, where they were saying that the uh, the tumbler. I think right now the the average price between Amazon and eBay is like 500 bucks. What? Jeez. Yeah. And um, I mean, what, what other toy does that? Like not none. There are some that are like maybe 50, 60 years old that, you know, will get you some money. Right. Yep. But Legos is just, and I mean, even if you just sell the bricks on their own, like if you sell a box of 70 pounds of bricks, you're, you're making money. What Chris, there's a whole, subculture a community i should say out there of people that buy and sell lego it tr like it's a true commodity like a, they're like a lego broker they're lego brokers they're either resellers of sets or brokers of the individual pieces and parts um because they just they're you know they're valuable people that that go out and you know walmarts and targets and buy them the sets on sale and cart them out and sell the pieces and it's like a, it's a it's fascinating to watch. Like you said, there's nothing else like it, at least in the toy world. And I'm assuming that there's not, like in the statue world, some of yep. that's looked out upon. You know, it's negative with reselling sometimes and, yep. um, you know, just buying a flip. But it's, I'm assuming it's not the same in the Lego world. Uh, well, to a, to a degree. Um, resellers, the set resellers, um, particularly what's frowned upon is the scalping of sets that are still available, right? Okay. So you'll, you'll find sets that are kind of hard to come by. Um, you know, at some point, you know, when I actually get to make the room tour that I've been promising everybody for so long, I was thinking <laughs> of giving everybody a peek at the other part of my collection that I haven't shown anybody, which is my star Wars Lego collection. Um, but, you know, Star Wars sets, for example, that, you know, Lego will, they'll still be technically available, but they run low, you know, at certain points. Yeah. And scalpers will buy them in mass and, and mark them up horrifically, you know. Because they know they're, they know people will pay for it. That, that, and, and people do. People yeah, do. I, I believe that. Yep. Well, yep. it's, I guess, you know, it's. That kind of stuff, I guess, will pop up in just about anything that makes money. It, that, that's exactly right. Supply and demand. You know, it, it happens. I mean, you know, it's just it's what people are willing to pay for it. You know? That's right. Yeah. That's exactly right. Yep. Let's see here. So, how are, have you uh, have you run into any major roadblocks yet with your build? Um, you know, it's 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 just that classic where you miss one piece like three pages back. Yep. And it screws up everything else, yep. like your count. It's and so true. The other thing that that uh, irritated me is there's there was a couple of bags with like pieces like this. Yep. And it was not marked, and it doesn't say in the book to refer to that bag of extra parts. Like it just. Yep. So, so I, I don't I don't like that. So those ba so that bag that isn't marked 
it's actually a different kind of plastic, right? It's like a softer plastic. It is, yeah, it's it is. Kind of it's like, it's, and there's like, I don't know, there's all these weird parts that are so never... They're larger parts that are uh, either base plates like that one or just larger parts like the other ones. Yep. That they don't feel like they need to be marked. Like they're just kind of set aside that you can easily spot them and. Yep. And they don't mark them, but they do that in many, many sets, uh, especially the larger sets. I, um, yeah. around Christmas time, my son and I, my son was home from college and, and we built the, um, the Lego, uh, UCS, which is ultimate collector series, uh, millennium Falcon. Oh yeah. That's a good one. And, uh, for the longest time up until very recently, it was the largest by piece count set Lego ever made. It's like 74 or 7,500 pieces. And, um, that's nuts, right? Yeah, it's crazy. But we built that one, and it had probably a half a dozen of those bags that you're talking about with the base plates and the bigger pieces. And so is that is that still the biggest set? No. So they a um, uh, couple just around Christmas time they came out with the Roman Colosseum. Oh, I did. Yeah, that's neat. See, I, and have you ever been there? I've uh, I've been to Italy, but not Rome. <laughs> so we we went to Rome for uh, about four days uh, oh. when I first met my wife. That's we did a big European trip, and I saw that I'm like, oh, it'd be so cool to build that. It's just so neat. Well, it's a beautiful set. It's uh, highly highly detailed. Um, it's about ninety three hundred pieces, Jeez. and uh, lots of small pieces. I bet. Yeah. Well, like you know, I think of like the Death Star or that uh, I was talking yep. about DT earlier. Yeah, uh, him and his son built that Imperial Star Destroyer. Yep, the thing is massive. Like yep. I, I can't believe that's not the biggest set. Like that is just insane. I, how big um, I did that one too. I've got that one in my collection, and uh, that one's about seventy. Um, sorry, um, that has a lot of larger panels on it. That's why the piece counts less. I, I got you. That one maybe I want. Oh God, I don't remember now. I want to say like forty five hundred. Wow. Um, but it, it, you know, what's funny about that set. It weighs about 30 pounds. It's heavy. That's it, nice. is, it is almost four feet long. Uh, yeah. it's probably, I don't know, 20 inches tall at least. Um, and to the top of the conning tower and it's, you have to hold it like a baby. So it's on a stand. It's on like a four legged stand and you hold one of the legs of the, they show there's a page at the back of the, of the final, the last manual, it's got two, two giant manuals, but you, you literally like run your hand under the belly of the thing or your arm and hold the stand with the other hand. And that's how you pick it up. You kind of hold it like a child. It's, it's that really hilarious. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. It's funny. I want to give a big shout out to a Jim's Bob arcade, $5. Um, nice. I'm not exactly sure what he's saying there. Republicans drip Marvel guys. I don't know what that means exactly, but uh, thank you for the $5 super chat. That's awesome. Thank you very much. Some top secret code right there. I, I guess. I like it. Bob's Arcade. He's speaking in, in it for the rest of the things as well. I love it. Well, thank you very Buffering much. Buffering video call. Buffering video call. Okay. All right. All well, right. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you very much. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's awesome. so, and thank you very much for your super chat. You got us kicked off earlier. Oh well, you know, I had to donate. I mean, you got a whole Batmobile thing going now. Well, I, yeah, and you know, I kind of, I, I kept going back and forth, as you know. Yep. On the um, the Iron Studios, and I really, I really thought long and hard about what you said about the toy <laughs> thing. You know, like that really, I really wanted to think about that. Um. But it was just one of those pieces where I, I saw another review and I saw like the guy holding up the base to see how it's big. You know, it's it just I wanted to see it in person. I wanted to yeah. make the call for myself. Yeah. If it's one of those things where I don't like it, I'm going to sell it. You know, it's, it's just that yeah. simple. Um, you know, I would obviously lose some money because I don't think very many people are going to pay that that money for the full thing. But it'll be, it'll be interesting to see what the textures look like. Um you know, is it actually, does it have a different just kind of appearance Yeah. to it, you know, being you know, stone. You, you described it as real smooth, you know, and, or, you yeah. know, when we, we talked about it too, it's like, it's just, um, you know, the, the 89 Batmobile is, doesn't have a lot of bells and whistles. It is very smooth. Oh, it's it very, is. Yeah. 
you know, it's, it is what it is. Yep. Uh, but exactly. I just, I don't know. I, I caved. No, that's good. You know, that's, that's the right thing to do if you're teetering and you can swing it, you know, put it on the bookshelf, see what it looks like in the collection and go from there. That's what I'm going to do. I'm hoping it fits the bookshelf. I'm really worried about that. How deep is it? It doesn't look all that deep. Um, like 12, I, I, think, I think I'm going to be okay. I, I, Cause you know, I was considering the, um, the hot toys one as well. And there's no way that thing would have fit on, on it. It's way too wide. Yeah. Um, it just would not have worked. Right. So, is the uh, the Iron Studios one? I, I I don't have a picture in front of me, but is the uh, is the car wider than the base itself? Um, I don't. On the Iron Studios? Yeah. I don't think so. I think the base is wider. The base is wider. I could be wrong. I thought. Yeah. I, I don't know why I think fourteen inches, but because I remember thinking that sounds like it would fit on your shelf. Um, but I don't remember why I think that. But it's 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 a big piece. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice looking. I, I'd be really curious to see what you say about the textures and just the way it just kind of presents next to the next to the polystone statues. The other, I should say, other polystone statues. Yeah, I am too. Um, yeah. Because this will be really my first like this ever, I think. I mean, I've never really had anything like it in my collection. Yeah. So, all right, let's see. I have no idea how to attach this piece. How does this go? <laughs> Isn't this crazy over here, Ledge? See how this... I feel like... So that's going to be the wheelbase. You see how yeah. the, the wheel... Yeah, turn... there's your uh, steering mechanism right yeah. there. I don't know if everybody can see that or not, but it's... That's cool. You can actually see the... Yep. So will it be able to hook to the back tires and you'll be able to, yeah. like you'll hook to the wheel inside? Well, I'm yep. assuming you'll be able to steer it somehow. You or can. Actually, you, def yeah. you definitely can. Yep. A lot of money for that. Right, so. Like you said, this is a lot of, um, oh, I can't think of the name. The Technic. Technic, thank you. Yep. Technique? I remember when those first came out. Me too. <laughs> they, were, they were so different. Yep. All right. So I'm trying to figure out how to... Put this on here. I have no idea how that mounts. I was watching somebody that was talking about the fact they built one of the um, one of the higher end Technic, uh, the Le uh, Lamborghini. Things like um, looks to be maybe twenty six inches long, twenty eight inches long, and they made one minor mistake on a part, but it was in like the center of the build, and it meant that the front wheels wouldn't rotate <laughs> so you literally could not roll the car and you would have had to take like half the bottom of the car apart well and just like we said you know it's it literally one one little miss move that's it yep Did is, I, all, is all it takes yeah I, I got it there you go nice so there's the back nice. basically building the back bumper Dan, i have a question for you okay as in the chat, it says Batman 89 or Batman Returns. <laughs> I've um, answered this like four times tonight. I've heard I've heard you answer it a lot. Um, I, I have to go Returns because uh, I'm a huge fan of Michelle Pfeiffer's portrayal of Catwoman. Mm. So I have to go. Uh, I have to go Returns. Although there's a lot that I like about 89, but I am not. Um, unlike your dad, I'm not an 89 first guy. I am a Batman Begins Christian Bale guy. Yeah, that's a great story. Yeah. And, you know, it's funny because growing up, I saw, I saw 89 13 times in the theater. <laughs> yeah. um, and, you know, oftentimes I would go so often that, like, I was the only person in the theater. Like, you know, I just, I just kept going. Yep. And, um, and I, was, I think I was around 13 at the time. And that was always my end all be all. And I loved returns, but it wasn't until I was an adult that I, you know, when I reflected on it and I'm like, this is the better movie Now this is the, you know, it's just got, it's way darker. Um, it's yeah. just good. Yeah. I think you just, you know, kind of refined, you know, the, the characters in that world and, um, you know, probably did a lot of things that he wanted, would have wanted to do in 89 that he, you know, 
been set aside for whatever reason. But I, I have to tell you, so I was in, you know, I was still in school um, when 89 came out too. And um, I was working in a t-shirt shop on, and uh, at the time on the weekends and whatever, and at night. And, and uh, when 89 came out, it was the biggest pop culture thing like to the ever. Uh, we could not keep the cases of t-shirts being delivered every day to the shop. I'll never forget. Literally just waves of people constantly coming in buying armfuls of Batman t-shirts. It was yep. so cool. I probably had some of them. Yeah. <laughs> they might be worth something if you still have those old shirts. No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> and I had, you know, I had the, like the Nicholson poster where he's with the, the girls on the recline or those, you know, the beach, you know, that. Oh, yeah. Uh, I had all of that, all of yep. that stuff. And um, I wish I had kept. Uh oh, whoop, I caught it. Oh, catch. I've only dropped what? We've dropped two pieces two tonight. Pieces. Yeah, that's not bad. Or two, good three. Catch. Um, but yeah, I wish I had kept some of that stuff. Yep. Dan, question. Another question from the chat. Do you have a YouTube channel? I do not have a YouTube channel. I encroach on your father's bat, uh, Batman. YouTube <laughs> We've talked about it. I think Dan would be very successful on YouTube. We, I think he would love it. But we sure do love you having you here too. Well, yeah, and I love being here. So uh, it is, um, it is a it is a possibility. It is. A, I've thought a lot about it. I have a lot of ideas to to do. It's a it's a it's a lack of time. <laughs> you know, that's that's the thing is um, that a lot of people I don't think realize about YouTube is that it's it's yes. a way bigger commitment than people realize because not only are you filming or yep. spending your time doing you know two and a half hour live streams or whatever you're doing, but Usually there's a lot of editing involved and you have to create a thumbnail and you have to do That's SEO right. and research and, you know, do keywords and like all of this behind the scenes stuff. Yep. It's just a lot. It is a yep. lot. Yep. There's a, there's a ton to it, you know, and, and you're, I mean, you, you're, you're a really thoughtful YouTuber too, Chris, in terms of, you know, you put thought into the content and, and uh, it's not just off the cuff. It's planned well and it's well produced and it's just um you know you do more than just you know there's a lot of vlogging channels out there which are great and there's a lot of room for vlog and you know to mix that in but um you know your content's really good it takes a lot of time and i know we all appreciate it well thank you i i i, I mean I, I like to do what everybody else is doing also but also at the same time i really like to i, I feel like i i need to help the community like i feel like i i want to do how to's or sure. just offer advice because yep. there's, I've, I, you know, we've all been through what to not do and I don't want to see collectors make the same mistakes. Yep. That's I for sure. Like, I feel like if you made like a, like how to put like certain statues together, you'd probably get some views off of it. Um, yeah. I mean, we've done some things like that. Um, and you know, or I don't know, it's just, we, and we're always trying to do different things on the channel, you know, yeah. we're like this, this is certainly something very different for us. And uh, <laughs> it's, it's been, it's a lot of fun so far. Yep. Two and a half hours. Your mom's going to kill us, you know. <laughs> she said it's, I probably should go to bed. So uh, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm sure. It's like we're, we're taking up all the bandwidth of the house, which is, you know, <laughs> but we're having a good time. I'm having a good time. And we're, de like I said, we're definitely going to have to break it up a little. <laughs> for, that's probably a good plan. Well, I know some people that do this, they, they just do seven or eight, nine hours straight. You know, they just keep oh, going. No, quit. just like we've talked about, you know, we, uh, I know a lot of people in, in the community, in the BSC community are enjoying our auction show <laughs> um, and, and talking about planning those and how other YouTubers just run them literally all night. Um, yes. It, I, I have to applaud their stamina because that's, that's a lot. I know when, when just on rogues gallery, when we go for, you know, those, some, we've had a few shows go like what, two and a half hours or so, even yep. a little more. You feel pretty tired. <laughs> in you, do. That time. you do. And I, I remember like when we first started the show, like my, my ultimate goal is like, I want it to be like around 40 minutes. <laughs> and, and I was worried that like, okay, could we fill 40 minutes? Like, oh, you know, yeah. or will we have enough conversation to keep the conversation going? Yep. And, you know, now we're doing two hours without blinking an eye and we could probably go another three yeah. someday, some days, maybe not always, but 
It's just it's crazy to me. It is crazy. It is crazy. But it's fun. That means we got good company. We got good folks in the chat watching with us. So makes it uh, all worthwhile and fun. Makes it fun. Dad, you gotta buy a Bernie on the Throne statue. A Bernie on the Throne. Yeah, did somebody make that comment? Yeah. Bernie on Throne. <laughs> <clears throat> that was a really fun video to do. Add a little bit of uh, comedy into other, remember, otherwise serious situations. I remember uh -huh. he first told me about that video. He said he would do it. I was like, uh... <laughs> Is this an actual statue? I was telling people oh. earlier, and I know I know you've already seen it, but I was, uh, you know, we had a lot of fun doing the, the sales video uh, that's coming out probably Sunday, I bet. Um, it's so weird. With our little commercial. That's going to get really a few reactions, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope people uh, laugh because we had a really fun time. I don't think they're it? expecting it. Have you seen it's it? It's awesome. Now? Yeah, Dan, I sent it to Dan this morning. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. It's yeah, really it's good. <laughs> it's it's weird. It's weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's definitely not something that we've uh, done much of. You must you must have put some serious editing time into that video, Chris. You know, it really it really it, wasn't that long. Really, it wasn't too bad. Uh, no, the, the main thing was like I I had uh, had the idea, but then I, I like looked up some commercials on YouTube, like just to get some inspiration to kind of yeah. see, you know. <clears throat> um, and really it's just kind of trying to come up with ideas, but really the filming didn't take too, too long. Ah. Uh, and then, yeah, the editing was just like, just trying to figure out where to put each piece. Like I kind of had to rejumble everything together, but so, yeah. I bet how many of those, like how many clips did we film? There probably wasn't in that. Um, I think I, I think I only like left out like three or four. So yeah, were, we filmed a lot of random clips. There were quite a few cuts there. Were, I mean, there were a lot in there. Yeah. So yeah. I, I hope people like it. I, I want to do they something will. funny. They will. They, they <coughs> definitely will. It's awesome. So we'll, thank you. All right. Well, this is going pretty. This this bag is feels like it's a little easier. Yeah. <laughs> might <laughs> might just be hitting our stride. Maybe now. I'm not sure. Not, uh, no, you're not hitting your stride, Dad. We got to go to Wichita tomorrow. We are going to go to Wichita tomorrow. How many bags is the set, Chris? Do you know? Let's figure that uh, out. I see 23. Oh, wow. 24. I think maybe 24, 25 bags. And we're, we're just on three. Nice. <laughs> well, this could be a whole, like, you know, early spring project, Chris. Well, I know. <laughs> I, 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 it's, just, it's just crazy. Like, I, I, I figured I would at least get, I mean, two hours worth. I figured I'd get to, like, <clears throat> bag 10. Yeah. Uh, nope. That's not, not not happening. Not with all that technic, no way. Um, but I have a a new appreciation. But at, at the same time, like trying to focus it's on what massive. people are saying and talking to everybody, and it's, it's it does slow it down. You know, it's like where it's yep. But that's what makes it fun. And it's also massive. It's a big piece. I <clears throat> I told Ledger I'm I'm anxious to see how this lines up to the uh, Iron Studios size-wise. Yeah, I do too. Oh. I'm trying to think. I, I can't remember the dimensions of the Iron Studio. It's pretty long, right? It, it like, seems like it. I'm losing my voice. Was it 30 inches or something? It was just or 27? I don't know. <coughs> it's it's big. It's no big. I um. So I do have a uh, – I have a – Another cool Lego set, Chris. I heard you saying how you were uh, that Empire was your favorite Star Wars movie. Oh yes, I've got a um, the Ultimate Collector series, and this is a retired piece, so I'm getting on the second hand, uh, second secondary market is the um, the Snow Speeder. Oh, Oops. that's really that's cool. Yeah, it, it is, and it is awesome. Like I've I've watched video on it. I have never seen it in person, but it is a highly highly detailed model. Um, a lot of depth, uh, really cool model. So look forward to showing that to you guys. So you said you're getting it or you've already yeah, got it? I'm getting it. It's due um, Monday, I think it should arrive. Yep. That's, oh. that's cool. We yep. can have a double unboxing. <laughs> double, that's right. <laughs> well, we're going to have to get Dan to get the Iron Studios Batmobile, but I don't know if that's going to happen probably this time. The Iron Studios Batmobile. You know, Chris, I've often thought of Batmobile. I mean, honestly, if I was going to dedicate the space in my collection in the batman collection room i i think i'd have to get the tumbler 
Um, yeah. You know, the other one that I really like, and I've never seen one in person, is the, uh, and I honestly wish I could tell you the difference between them, the Justice League Batmobile is really cool. So do you like that? Do you like that one better than the 89 Batmobile? Yep. I do. I, I don't, for some reason, I don't know, the, the 89, mm, it's not that I dislike the 89 Batmobile. I, I think I like the more technical... Uh, you and I have talked about this too. I, I know a lot, but many different times about the realism. Like, if there was really a Batmobile, what would it be? And I think that's why, for me, the Tumbler works so well. It's like I could see that really being the Batmobile. It's you a know? tank. Yep. <clears throat> what do you think of the Robert Pattinson Batmobile? It's just kind of like a souped-up, you know, Mustang or something. Like, what do you think of? Yeah. I mean, that that's realistic, but it's not very super batman -y either yeah to me it's not um it, it it'd be interesting to see how they play that like is that the batmobile for the whole film you know does he work himself into a a more sophisticated you know robust batmobile by the end of the film I, because it, you're right i mean it, to me it, it doesn't seem like it is um it has enough capabilities i guess you could say yeah to be the batmobile you they know, have said that they're going to do that with the suit. Like the suit is very, you know, yep, it's homemade, and you know, it's and sewn it looks, together. Looks awesome. It does look awesome, but it they said that that's just going to be the first one. So yeah, it will be interesting to see if that's the route yeah. they continue to take with it, which I like because that's exactly how Batman would be. He would continually upgrade. Right. Yeah, he's got the souped-up muscle car. You know, at first, you know, it's one of the cars he pulls out of a carriage house at Wayne Manor, and you know, sit. So, so that all makes sense to me, but I don't, I can't, you know, envision that being the Batmobile, you know, ultimately, but yep. Um, I mean, I do like the 89, 89 Batmobile. I've, uh, I know that I've posted before, but my trip to Warner brothers, um, out in California where they just happened to have, I, I it was complete happenstance too. And this is in 20, what was it? 2015. Um, you know, went out with my daughter and we did the Warner Brothers studio lot tour and all that. So jealous. And they had a Batmobile exhibit. So they had several different Batmobiles, including one of the 89 Batmobiles. Um, they had one of the cooler things they had there that I really enjoyed was the Bat Pod. <laughs> the and see, I, was, and I, I have seen the Bat Pod and a Tumblr cool. in yeah, person because they were, there, was oh. a, there was a tour when Dark Knight Rises... Yeah, works out. Well. They they were going to Walmart's. We were at Kansas City. Oh, really? Um, yeah, they were going from Walmart, and they actually had the the real crew, like the real drivers that would drive it on set. Wow! Um, and so I got to take photos with Ledger. Was just maybe maybe were you around three or four? Maybe I don't yeah, remember. it was a while. Ago. Um, but they had the they had the real tumbler and the real um bat pod there. Wow! And and they drove it out. Like that was the coolest. Like they drove it out of the trailer, both of them, so you could see it actually driving. Yeah, that's awesome. It was neat. That's real. That's really cool to see them driving. Yeah, that would be cool. And just like to hear the engine, like you know, it's like legit. You know, it's a, yep. it's not a it's not a prop. It's a real working yep. thing. It's real. Yeah. That's awesome. I wish I had you know had this channel back then because I would have taken video. But I you know we just did photos back then. Right. I was like a little bit older. Um, and maybe they had asked us not to. Maybe they didn't want video at the time, but. It was just, that was so neat to be able to see that. Well, the other thing that really struck me in the exhibit that we saw was they had, you know, a costume exhibit too from the movies and they had um, Heath Ledger's, the, hit the oh. hero, they called it the Joker suit. Yeah, you know what hero means, right? Yep. Yep. The whole, the whole thing. And it was well, the whole costume. Those of you, for those of you that don't know what hero is, is that a hero costume is suit number one. Yep. So it's basically the main primary suit that an actor will wear. Uh, there's oftentimes, you know, I, I know behind the scenes, there were like seven or eight other identical costumes uh, yep. that, that either extras would wear or stunt doubles or whatever. Yep. Um, but uh, that's really cool. You got to see the hero costume. I would, yep. did, did they also have the masks on display, the clown masks? Um, I saw those actually at San Diego Comic-Con the year before. Um so DC, DC had a big, uh, it was the seven, Batman 75th, I think is what it was. Yeah, um, yeah. And they had um, 
they had all of the the bank robbery masks there. They had they had a bunch of Batman suits. I've got pictures of all that. I should reshare it out to the group. I haven't. You really should. It. I'd love to yeah. see it. That they're just absolutely amazing. They had the, you know, the um, the Hot Toys armory set, the Dark Knight um, yes. armory set. Yep. So that's actually one of the very few Hot Toys I have remaining. I haven't been able to part with that one, but um, they had the real armory there from the Batcave. Um, just, awesome. it's so cool seeing those things in person. Um, Scarecrow's hood from Batman Begins. Um, that was cool. Yeah, lots of neat stuff. Man, that sounds like a dream come true for me. It it was, and it was completely just didn't plan it at all. Just bumped into it. Just awesome. That was cool. Was awesome. Oops, I think I did the wrong one there. Uh oh. I did a one holer instead of a two holer. There the we go. The other hard part about those Technics is they're also harder to pull apart than the bricks. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. The difference. Yep. Yeah. Once you put those pins in, they don't like to come out. No, they don't seem like they do. Yep. But, so we're getting closer to being done with bag three. <laughs> yeah, we'll 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 finish off for tonight. Only twenty more bags to go, folks. Oh my it's god! It's gonna be a long night. <laughs> oh my god! Actually, it's eleven more bags to go. Uh, what? It's eleven more bags. Eleven more bags. Yeah. Um, yeah, we've got it's a long way. A long way to go, but it'll be fun to do. Not sure if that's supposed to go all the way in there or not. <laughs> Let's see. That looks like a pretty thick um, instruction manual there, too. It's like a it's like a Bible. Like yep. <laughs> look at that thing. That's so cool. Eighty-five likes, Dad. Eighty-five likes. Eighty-five. I don't think we're gonna get to our one fifty. Uh oh. I said if we get to 150, we'll do a giveaway. But oh no, at least get to 100, folks. Hit that no like button. No free statues. Someone said it must be nice to be me. But I get to watch this Lego set being built. You get to watch the Lego set being built. <laughs> First person. Well, it's pretty exciting, right? Yeah. It's very exciting. Person. Yeah. All right. Well, I have no. See, I, I should have had some sort of technical experience because I'm like I have no idea what to do with this here <laughs> I can't tell if that's on that blue peg or not I cannot Lego tell. is definitely an acquired skill by the way you know yeah it, it is something that um, it's not intuitive that you, where you would think that you could get better at it because it's all step by step you know instruction driven yep but you can absolutely get better at building Lego. I can tell you firsthand. <laughs> yeah, I, I agree with that. And I, yep. you know, it's like, especially if you're doing something complicated, like, you know, like whenever we would build sets, it would be, you know, pretty self-explanatory, easy sets. Yeah. But the, what I'm finding is like, there's it, this just, there's so much detail on this, on, on this page. Yep. It's, it's hard to figure out where you're at. Yeah, you should orient yourself. Yep. You do. And it's it's crazy. But I'm just not sure where this goes. It might go right there. Yeah, looking for reference points is critical. Like super critical. Well, the I think this is supposed to line up somehow with this mechanism, but I don't know for sure how to do it. Eric's in the house. Eric's in the house. Eric, Eric B? B. Eric B. Are you putting up any uh, comments, Ledge? No, I haven't been because. Have you been sleeping on the job? No, because I didn't J think you guys would want me to read them and interrupt your guys' conversations. You're all right. We'll wait, Jeff, for a, uh, wait for a pause. I Jeff, you can do it. Jeff Morris is uh, also in the house saying, Lego, definitely not for the faint of heart. <laughs> it I'm is sorry. not. It is not. Especially yeah. something like this. When do the wheels go on? I want to see it roll. Yeah, as I say. No, I got this. Okay. Ready? Yeah. It's going to roll on camera. It oh, failed. I did it. Here we go. It Let's see. There, there you go. You go. <laughs> Look at the size of these tires. They're big. They're massive. That's Insanely awesome. big. 
It's going to cool. look unbelievable. All right, well, I'm going to put this one aside right for just a second because I don't know where that goes. Maybe I'm just not quite there yet. Let's see. Oh, that to that. All right. Yeah, Skipton yeah, thought that it would be uh, the turbine engine would be bad. Huh? Uh, Skiff Kittens, Stiff Kittens reviews thought it be, uh, that they would do a bad uh, job with the turbo engine. Oh, I think they've done a really good job with everything moving parts wise. Well, then he said that it looked more like a TOS because it's so TAS because it's so flat. Way better than MOC. Seeing it looks like more like the animated series turbine. Oh, I see what you, I see what you're saying. Let's see, does that go on top of there? Where does this one go? Looks like uh, Stiff Kitten Reviews know, knows what they're talking about. Saying uh, knows, knows Lego, I should say. Likes you the tumbler. Tumblers, cooler IMO. Uh, Eric coming. Eric B asking if you're going to do the Batwing next, Chris. Come on. Well, you know, I've had a couple people ask that, and I, yeah. I said, you know, if, if it's something that, um, if, you know, people like in, or wanting to watch this, then it's absolutely a possibility. Yeah. And Dan, how are you doing on that X-Wing? I, uh, I, I am not building it at the moment, uh, Ledger, because I when I tried to switch over, I was going to build with you guys while we're doing this, but when I switched over out of the browser over to um, the instructions because I'm using the online instruction. Oh. Um, actually, you know what, though? Here, I, I'm going to go black for a second. I'll be here sound-wise. Hold on one second. Okay. Let me see what step I'm on. I'm on page 86. So I like to use the um, uh, the manual on my iPad. Um, I have the Lego app, you know, and you see it's really... I, just, I don't know. I just find I, I really like using the um, iPad. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I've got the uh, I've got the manual right here, so I can just use the man. I'll go old school with you guys. There you go. And use the manual, and I will build along with you. I am uh, building. Whoa, dropping things. Building the engine to one of the wings. So you see how I see how that? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it rotates. Right. It actually rotates the. <clears throat> the wheelbase. It's really, really cool. <coughs> but I'm still not. I, this I just don't know. This does not connect. That blue thing. Like I don't know if that's. But the weird part for me is because on the back, usually they don't like that doesn't move around. Usually that stays. No, that's it. Great. Sorry. You're all right. I'm just not sure how that attaches. So I'm gonna have to. Sorry, I'm not a car guy. <laughs> I'm not a car guy. Well, don't worry, Chris. It's uh, only the steering mechanism. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. No, no big problem, right? No, no, no worries. <laughs> oh, well, we're gonna. Well, well, I'll find out. I'll have to go back five pages and. Oh, five pages. I think that's wishful thinking. Only five pages. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> No, don't speak like that. No, it's nerve wracking. It is nerve wracking. Plus, you're doing it live, so you're like you don't want to screw it's up too it's much. It's even worse live with 45 people watching you, Let's see. including Dan. Including well, if any, Dan. anybody has been here since uh, we started the stream, you're awesome. <laughs> Sticking with us this long—that's pretty incredible. So you pretty tried for the you tried for the dual camera angles, and it didn't work. Well, again, it would have worked, but I couldn't plug my Yeti microphone because I only had two. Um, oh, the USBs? Yes. So I found out a way you can do two different cameras at the same time on StreamYard. So I found yeah. that you could do that. Um, and so that's what I did. And basically, I just did, I just was one um, USB short. Wow. Ah. So uh, I'm going to try to find a splitter or something where I can, you know, literally we can add USB ports to your laptop. That's what I'm going to have to do. I totally I didn't do. give him the idea for the camera angle. Totally didn't for the idea. Totally didn't give him the idea. 
sounds like you might need a USB hub. Yeah. So Kim says five hours later. Oh, we're halfway there. <laughs> I don't even know if we're halfway there, to be honest. So, so like five hours later. Yeah, I think we're still going to be rocking and rolling for a while. Chris Logan says he's been here since the beginning. Who? A guy named Chris Logan. Thank you, Chris, for being here this long. That's been awesome. Here since the first snap roll. Thank you very much. That's dedication right there. Sure is. Yeah, especially yeah. like three hours almost. It's two hours and fifty-five minutes now. Yeah, that's pretty pretty incredible. We've already gone an hour over what we planned. Yes, we did. Let's see. Where does that piece fit? I don't think it's this one. That looks like you've pretty much only done technic work so far. Like I don't really see hardly any work in there at all. I think you're right, and I think that's why I, I struggle a little bit because I'm just yeah. not. I'm good at technic work. I'm not used to it. <laughs> you did. Ledger will take care of it. When did what pieces did you have? I or what what uh, did you do? I do a lot with like this kind of stuff. I did like a car, and it's basically all of that. Uh, what car? It's like a dune buggy, and it has really good. It has like suspension. That's neat. That's really cool. Well, I, I, um, I don't. I just don't know if I've really had any experience with the tech technical stuff. Eric B yeah. says, I'm, on, I'm accustomed to unboxings. This is the first unbagging I've attended. Unbagging, yeah. <laughs> unbagging. That's unbagging. good. That is that, good. That's really good. It's a, it's a it's a first for our channel. Yep. An unbagging. Unbagging. I like it. I don't think we built <coughs> Legos on either of our channels. This is definitely our. This is this is definitely the first Lego build, for sure. <laughs> Hopefully, it won't be our last one. Just wait until Prime One and Slideshow statues are coming in three thousand piece set. <laughs> uh, I am really thankful they don't. Chris, did I hear you talking earlier about uh, Talon? Did I hear you saying something about Talon that I missed? We did say something yes. about Talon about how he didn't order. So, you know, I, did you see those pictures I posted today? I did see the pictures you posted today, but there's it's still only with Prime 1, right? Yep. And <laughs> did, you, did you also think it looked incredible? Yeah. So I did too. <laughs> and I kind of like... I don't know. I'm tired of waiting, I guess. So I'm Oh I, no. I made the I made the comment. I'm like, I just think I might uh if it's not up by by Monday on Sideshow, I might pre-order it from Prime One. Ooh. Now why? I don't know. I just I, I just I wanna know that I have it on pre-order. I, I don't Yeah, I hear you. I, I don't think it's gonna sell out. But I don't know. Maybe I need to wait. Maybe I need to, like, hashtag restraint, right? Oh, boy. Lucas G says, uh, Batman's assembly in the Batmobile. Meanwhile, Gotham City has been nuked by five times by Joker. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, <laughs> no one's fighting crime tonight. We're doing the damn Legos. Uh, we got a poor, poor Batman. Yeah. Everybody's busy. <laughs> That's right. But uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe yeah. you're right. Maybe I need to wait. Well, I've thought about it myself, you know, and I'm like, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of questioning the whole PO thing with a piece that at least it wouldn't appear as though it's going to sell out anytime soon. I'm like, why do I want to PO it? You know? Well, I mean, look, look how long we've waited. Yeah. Has it been like, six months? Maybe not quite that, probably. No, but coming up feels on like it, it, right? Feels like feels it. Like, yeah. You're probably not that far off time wise. I mean, Dad, have you ordered from Prime One directly before? Uh, yes, yes, I, I have, have ordered. Yeah, I have ordered from Prime One before. Um, I have, uh, and that's uh, Orchid Voodoo. Sorry, just a question. Yeah, make sure you're putting those up there so people can see them. Uh, questions. Hello, um, yeah, I've ordered. I ordered the Bermejo Joker. I like that set. No. Here. Is that right? No, which one? Uh, no, uh, the Arkham Knight Joker. That's, that's I ordered it from Prime One because it had the extra uh, Scarface. And then I also ordered the Bane versus Batman. Which are both awesome pieces.
Any idea, Chris, as to how shipping is running these days? Um, I haven't really heard. Expensive. Prices seem to be <clears throat> not awful, awful if you do the economy. Someone just said two forty yeah. standard right now for the towel and shipping. Two forty, not two forty for the sh for the sh standard shipping. Two forty for which one? For Talon. For Talon, 240 for standard shipping. For to Talon. you? Uh, for to to uh, Orchid, Orch Orchid Voodoo is saying. Ah, sorry, guys, for the camera craziness. So what do you think of that price? Orchid Voodoo. I get um, Talon, 240 Costs are pretty low. I'm trying to think about the size of the piece, Chris. I mean, and what I'd paid in the past... For a prime one piece from sideshow um i know the shipping for from sideshow was under 200 for me and i'm on the east coast i mean i'm i'm in new hampshire um and i'm pretty sure it was the last one i got was under 200. But. um and you guys know like I, I told you i canceled my uh sengoku joker Yep, because that because that was like two hundred and some. What what did I say? Two forty, two sixty. I got to think. Talon doesn't look like it's crazy big though. No, and the uh, the Ninja Joker was um, one four scale, but two boxes. The two box thing will kill you. Do we know? Do we know what Talon? We probably don't know yet. I would think one box. I would think one, yeah. But, I mean, the, the base is pretty good size with the owls. Yeah, yeah. So it's, you know, a little bit hard to say, but... Chris Logan sent you a video of two Spider-Man busts. He said it right here. Paid $600 for two of my Spider-Man busts for, by Queen Studios. Sent you a video. All right, thank you, Chris. Thank you. We need to check it out. Oh, the Bermejo Joker on Sideshow isn't sold out yet. It's crazy. I can't believe with all the great press that that statue has gotten that that hasn't sold out yet. It just has to be the price. It's, it's a good statue. I like that statue. I, I, I don't think I've heard one person say a negative word about that statue. <laughs> well, I didn't put these in. <laughs> um, no. Oh, uh, famous last word. So I no. think that was God. I bet that was beginning of bag too. Oh boy. Okay. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I I have a tear in my eye right now. Yep. Been there, done that. Uh, for sure. <laughs> All right. I might have to leave because you scuffed it up so bad that. Yeah, I I'm gonna have to regroup. I'm gonna see what I can build just with uh, how I messed it up, but we'll see. Oh. Let's see. Let's the good see. news is it's Lego, Chris, and you can just take it apart and redo it. That's I mean, right. That took an hour. Three hours later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you. I tell you. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ugh. Craziness. Live streaming and building Lego, it's not easy. Not as easy as we've it been, works. We've done this for over three hours. What? Three hours. Yes, we have. I think I'm going to head up. All right, you head up. Good night, guys. Good night, Ledger. I'm going to head up. Good night, good night. See you, chat, and everyone else. <laughs> chat. Good night, chat. That's right. Good night, chat. Oh, my goodness. Well, it looks good on the screen, Chris. Well, it's uh, it's definitely getting there. You can start to see the the black elements on the back, right? But now I can't. I don't. This is not fitting right, which would probably explain why that part didn't fit right. It's just again, it's just crazy how one little. Yeah, it doesn't take much. One little thing can wreck you. 
Yeah. I don't think I maybe just figured that out. Okay, that's a good sign. <laughs> Gotta just figure that out. Okay, take that back out. This one. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Nice. All right there, now it's gonna work. Sweet. How's yours coming along? Sweet. I am, uh, let's see, this one, this is just a little guy, but I like these X-Wings. This one is probably, um, I'm about three quarters finished. This guy's probably about 14 inches long. Probably has a ten to twelve inch wingspan, so not that big. But it's it's the the black and orange Poe Dameron one. I've got I don't know. I probably have five different X wings, and I like the different colored ones. Um, they just kind of look cool on the display. So yeah, they're very cool. Yeah, I like them. Very cool. Ooh, I think I might have lucked out here. I was just going to say, if that's all the pain and agony you had to go through to fix that problem, that's not that bad of a problem. I think it's just literally me pushing this thing in. I think I can get it in there, I think. In Lego terms, that's getting off easy. My friend. Yes. <laughs> I just super lucked out. I don't know how I missed these pieces, but... It luckily, happens. It does. Luckily... Every once in a while, like, skip a step. Hopefully you just catch it quick. Yeah. Well, when you get to all these extra pieces, you're like, crap. <laughs> yep. Exactly. Where did why? Yeah, sure. Those seem important. Why are why they still out on the table? They shouldn't be on the table. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay. Yay. That's perfect. That, that. That, that. You're doing why? I am building third wing. All right, so that is that. All right, I think we've. Let's see here. Oh yeah, this is the last page. This is the last page. Wow! Look at you. Of uh, of, of, of three. <laughs> uh, of bag three. Of bag three, and it's three hours and seven minutes later. Oh my god! You're cruising now. That's embarrassing. <laughs> That's what that is. All right, I've got one extra piece. So where did that where did that extra piece go? Let's see. Extra piece. <clears throat> it's a it's a three piece block. Uh oh. Or three by three by two. A three by two block. Yeah, I think that's it, right? That shouldn't be extra. Yeah, that's not extra. That's not extra. Let's you see. should be able to spot that pretty easily though in the parts things in the on the page though. Might be. Uh, I think it's right there, actually. Yeah, I think it's right there. So the only thing I don't, the only thing that didn't work is I've got this mechanism that helps steer the wheels, but it yeah. doesn't attach to anything. It's too high. It almost, it's almost like it needs another block below it. I'm not exactly sure, but that's... Do you have any parts left on your table there? Uh, I've got some stuff from bag one, but I don't have anything left from bag two or three. Yeah, but if it was on top of something, because, like, did you not put a couple of studs down under it for it to sit on or something? Well, that's what I thought, too, and it, and it, but you can't really tell, because of the angle, you can't even tell if it's attached or if it's just floating. So I'm wondering if it's just floating for now until the next piece joins with it. Oh, that could be. Yep, you know what I mean? Could yep, I do know what you mean, and that could definitely be. So I think that might be where we're at. So. Yep. So, for everybody that's been tuning in for all these hours, uh, there, there's what we have so far with the uh, Batmobile build. Uh, you can start to see kind of the back shape a little bit. Uh, we've got some uh, cartoon clown colors in the middle. I don't know why, but it's always funny how Lego uses all their random spare parts to fill well, the middle. That's intentional. So the color usage on the inside, Chris, that is to make the build easier. So to distinguish between 
the parts and as you build to make it easier. Really? Yep. That's why it's like that. That's really neat. Yeah, it's really, it's thoughtful. Like, so it gives you uh, reference. You know how you were talking earlier about like, can't tell where you are and that it's to establish reference points. That's cool. Yeah, it's kind of cool. The engineering that goes into these sets is just off the charts, if you ask me. You know, I'm looking at that piece where I said it just feels like it's floating. There's another yeah. mechanism right here. I don't know if you can see this move, but I can yeah. tell that that's going to go in there like this and hold it in place. Yep. So that makes that's sense. Exactly, that's exactly what it's going to do, but it's just yep. not there yet. Yep. And there'll be a pin or something that, go, you know, some other assembly that goes through there. It's really that's smart. Expected. It's just really the, the people that create these are just incredible. It's it's insane. Yep. It's absolutely insane. Crazy. Well, I think uh, I'm going to start wrapping up for tonight. Okay. Um, cool. Thank you for thank you for joining me. No, this is fun. Um, sorry, it took a while to to get to you, but well, that's no problem. I, I kind of invited you late, um, but I thought maybe you would uh, uh, have some insights on how to put all these together. So I appreciate that. <laughs> um, um, and uh, again, thanks to everybody in the chat. Really, really appreciated everybody. Um, again, this is uh, something that uh, is very new. Uh, and so let me know in the comments uh, if you enjoyed it. Um, I'm stuck now. You have to come back and, and see all the other bags <laughs> because you have to know what's going to happen, right? I, was like, I can't leave it like this. So you have to come back. Um, and uh, so I'll, I don't know exactly when the next build will be. Um, I'll probably want to do it sooner than later because I want to keep going now that I've started. Um, but uh, thanks, everybody, for joining us uh, for the last three hours. And, um, again, if you enjoyed the content, hit the like button. And uh, I guess I can actually <laughs> now. Um, so, anyway, uh, thanks, everybody, for uh, – hey, Dan. How's it going? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Yeah, there he is. Uh, uh, I'll set my camera up here on some uh, tires. Uh, there we go. There we go. So, anyway, uh, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. I really appreciate it. And um, – let me know in the comments if you enjoyed it. If you want me to do more of these type of builds, I would love to uh, hear the feedback. Um, and just, again, something different on the channel that uh, we've never done before. And uh, thanks to Dan for inspiring it to happen. So uh, uh, really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you next time in the Batcave. Good night, everybody. Sounds good. Good night, folks. See you guys. Good night.